Coming to you live inside Frank McGurran's Field, home of the Grafton Ghosts. This is the third match day of the Andrew Johns and Laurie Daly Cup for 2019. The Northern Rivers Titans versus the North Coast Bulldogs. The Andrew Johns and Laurie Daly Cup is proudly sponsored by SEL World Australia and Anytime Fitness. You're watching this telecast courtesy of Bar TV Sports across the Country Rugby League website and YouTube platform. And it's a pleasure as always, Dwayne Neville, back to you, back with you once again for another season of Andrew Johnson Laurie Daly Cup action. And of course, I want to bring in my co-commentator once again for another season of Andrew Johnson Laurie Daly Cup. I'm bringing Kev. Kev, it's been a long off-season since we've done that 2018 uh, Trans Triple RL 2018 Grand Final, but it's good to be back with you and the footy's back. Well, thanks, Swain, and uh, yeah, what a great Grand Final it was. And good to be back here at Grafton. We were, we were here last year. The uh, Northern Rivers, they got a new, new logo. They are now underneath the care of the Gold Coast Titans. And we are up against the North Coast Bulldogs. So good to see the influence there from the NRL once again this season. And as we're about three minutes away from kickoff, so we'll have that the Andrew Johns Cup kicking off in just a little bit. So we'll give you the tail of the tape between the two teams. North Rivers Titans, they have two changes from last week's 52 to nil win over Parramatta and Guildford last week. And the team as follows. At fullback, we have Jalen DeGroote, who is also the player to watch in this team, having an impressive scoring in both games against Newcastle and the Eels. Of course, I mentioned Matthew Avery is back. He is paired with uh, Jack Field. In the centre pairing, we have Reese Somerville and Rowan Mansfield. In the halves pairing, we have Riley Lack and Thomas Weaver. And occupying the fours in the front row is Noah Johansson, Oscar Bright and Jake Cullen. In the second row, we have Nicholas Troy and Ryan Foran. And locking the scrum is Bailey Cox. And on the bench, we have Byron Jones, Logan Smith, Jack Cunnell and Jordan Gallagher. And as I mentioned, they are coming on two from two, looking to make it three from three here at home, on home turf. Of course, their first win was also against Newcastle at Foster Tongue Curry with a 38-8 to eight win. What do we need to know about the North Coast Bulldogs, Kev? Well, the North Coast Bulldogs, they are coached by Brendan Pellegrino. The uh, fullback is Riley Maxwell. On the wing, we've got number two, O'Shea Tyman. Number three, Mitchell Clark. Four, Bailey Thompson. Five, Tyrrell Dungai. Number six is Joe Lewis. Seven, Riley Cribb, 8 is Damon Allison, 9 is Grady Spokes, 10 is Riley Mylea, uh, 11 is Jackson Long Longer, 12 is Ben Brennan and the captain, and uh, number 13 is Harry Grant. On the interchange bench we have 14, Ray Chapman, 15, Lachlan Morgan Monk, 16 is Joe Mitchell, 17 is Dante Wilson Ho, and number 18 is Bailey Whitby. As we wait for the players today to take out the field here at Frank McGurran's Field in Grafton, the player to watch for the Mid-North Coast who has impressed me when I watched the past couple of streams of the past couple of weeks is Mitchell Clark from Warhope. He's a player to watch. You might see him in the light green headgear today. He scored doubles both against the Parramatta Eels and the Central Coast last week as we see the Northern Rivers Titans coming out to the field. For his club at Warhope, he scored four tries last season. So as we see the Northern Rivers Titans come out in the predominantly white strip, that's the Titans away strip when it's the Gold Coast kept, but they're very much the home team today. Yeah, well, I think it's a great jersey. But, uh, not sure who is the captain here. It's the halfback. Halfback of the Rivers led them out, and that looks like Thomas Weaver will be uh, leading the Titans around. Here come the Bulldogs. As the Bulldogs come out onto the field here, this is uh, basically the border for between Group 2 and Group 1. And so this is like a, a Clarence River Derby, or the, the Pacific Highway Derby, if you want to call it as such. So we're not really at uh, a home ground. The uh, Bulldogs seem to get more of a reception. Well, I best, field, I, best ex I best explain as Grafton, they do occupy Group 1 in well, as far as Andrew John's Cup is concerned, but with the Laurie Daly Cup, which features the under-18 squad, they, they, they play their competition in Group 2. So depending on how you look at it, it's a bit of a mixed bag, but officially the, the home ground does go to the North Rivers Titans. As you can see there, they'll run right to left on your screen. And I'll be kicking off. So the Bulldogs, yes, will be uh, receiving. So Joshua Bowden, he'll be taking the kickoff for the Northern Rivers Titans. And just to give you a score update in the other Northern Conference game, the other derby that's been played today, Newcastle Knights had their first win in the Andrew Johns Cup earlier today, 40 points to 10. And I think progress, as we're about to get underway, that's Joshua, Riley Lack. Riley Lack takes the kickoff. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong... <laughs> so... Nicely taken up in the hit up there, Bailey Cox. That was indeed Riley Lack with the kick off. Bring the wrong team sheet there, Kev. 
We've all been guilty of that, don't worry about it. Yeah. So, nicely said. Nice sea of defence there by the North River Titans early. Kev, when I was watching their first two games coming into this one, they started off really fast in the North River Titans, so it'll be interesting to see what they do in attack. And, and the Mid-North Coast have given away early possession, and as I was mentioning, if they have studied these, their first two games coming in this one, Kev, you'd think that's going to be very costly because they score tries quickly. Well, that was great defence there from Oscar Bruin and Bailey Cox. They both completed all, all three tackles off the kickoff. That's the number nine and 13, and this is a great opportunity for uh, Rivers straight into the game. Scott, try scoring opportunity. Someone's down here, though. I can't really make out the number there, Kev, but... I think it, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure either, but... I... And just before we got that kickoff was taken, just a progress score in that game in Maitland. Uh, Central Coast are actually up 20 points to 10 after about 55 minutes. Of course, you can see all these games being streamed live on Bar TV. It's Ryan Foran. He's coming from the field. The uh, second row, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. But, uh, yeah, he's been clapped off. and so Ryan. Must have had some sort of uh, slight concussion or something. Cause... So, Ryan, Ryan Foran, he was definitely a standout player in Guildford last week against the Parramatta Reels. It'll be a big loss if they, I think that's a HIA I think he's going off for. It'd it have to be. I reckon he, he look, looks to be walking OK. I'd be very surprised if he is concussed. But, anyway... So, let's see what Northern Rivers Titans, if this is going to be anything to replicate from their first two games, this should beckon for points. They're in perfect field position, 30 metres out inside the North Coast line. So, nicely taken up there. This will be now Oscar Bryant to, to play it. That's Reeve Somerville. Right, so Reeve Somerville with the head off. He's playing, yep. playing from centre this week. Gets it in the hands of Bailey Cox. Strong run. Gets it 10 metres out. They're set up for either side. North Rivers Titans are predominantly on the left there. There's numbers out on the left. It's going to go to Jalen DeGroote. He's dangerous in that. Dangerous with the line breaks, Jalen DeGroote, in the previous games. Oscar Bryant with a little dummy run. And I think he might have just gone over. Doesn't quite get there. Just, just a bit shy. Ryan Mansfield, the player from dummy half. And I think oh, he's just... He oh fumbled that. Unfortunately, yes, Mansfield's coughed it up. And this will be a... Uh, they, they will pack in a scrum. It'll be a feed to the Bulldogs. A bit of a let off there. They were looking pretty strong there, the Rivers. Of course, as I was mentioning, the Northern Rivers, that they have um, Grafton it feature in their Andrew Johns Cup, sorry, in their under 16 competition. So their minor premiers, I, I dare say, is also South Grafton. You're right about Mitchell Clark. He is in the green head gear. That's him there playing the ball now, and he, he does look dangerous with the ball. So that base, that great head gear basically will stand up in the Rivers Titans. because I want to be targeting that all game. I'll be aiming for that like head, head gear like a beacon, Kev. <laughs> little, little scoot there from dummy half. So they so they occupy there just shy of the halfway line on the third phase of play. I don't know that. I think the referee no, the referee's going to call that knock on. They thought, thought they might have got away with that one. They might have gone slightly back. Yeah, well. But that's three knock-ons and three sets. But uh, just to give you an idea of the weather, we uh, had rain here all morning. It looks sunny out there, but the ground is a bit wet. But now it's drying up. It'd be boiling out there. It'll be very humid. I can feel the heat from up here in the top of the grandstand. Certainly was wet on, on the way coming down there from the Pacific Highway, as you and me coming from the north side there, Kev. Um, so there is rain about. Be it just a shower or two, but it'll certainly smash it on my windscreen at about 8, 8.30 this morning coming up down from Byron Bay. It's back to the action. This is Oscar Bryant playing it. So this is, uh, I think that's Jack Cullen that's taking the hit up there. I think, I think that, uh, you'll find that Bailey Cox is the, no, no, you're right, number 16. Nice He's on. Brian, Byron Jones is the one that came on. So there's 30 metres out. Oscar Bryan, he's, look, he's needing help. He's crying for help. He gets it to the hands of Thomas Webb, his Kudjan teammate. And he drops a big whack. Referee deems it to be a fair hit. Yeah, that's fine. 10 metres out, third phase. Bryant gets in the hands of Johansson. He scored the first try a couple of weeks ago. Can he re replicate? Not just shy of the line. Do first points back and gets it off now to Thomas Weaver. Goes for the kick and it just falls right into the hands of... And they think twice about trying to push him in the dead ball line there, Kev. Yeah, that was, that was a good pick-up there from uh, one of the front rowers. So Can't actually see, but yeah, good, good hand. Nice rough and tough defence there by the Northern Rivers Titans. Keeping on third phase inside their own 10. Nice tackle there by Thomas Weaver. So impressive, impressive in attack and defence. 
So I think that's, a, that's the key to victory there for, for the Northern Rivers there, Kev. They know that they're absolutely dangerous and attack the, the North Coast. Northern Rivers are too, but they just want to bury them here and keep discipline, keep the Bulldogs right on their own hand. And they've done a good job thus far. Yeah, they're both looking, uh, both looking good. They're showing that they're happy to throw the ball wide. And the team that controls the ball... First, I reckon we'll score first. So this will be Jalen DeGroot to take it off the kick. Great Nicely take. Nicely taken there by DeGroot. Does a little step. He's done so many impressive line breaks already in this campaign. Gets it to 40 metres on their own side of the field. This is Ryan Mansfield, plays it from dummy half. He's taken there by Grady Spokes. They'll have four phases inside the North Coast half. This is Brian. Gets it off to the hands of Thomas Weaver. Nice little Kudgen connection there. And as I was... I was looking at this one, Kev. There's seven players from Coogeon out in the field today. And if you've seen how well they've played in the first two games here, referring to the North Northern Rivers Titans, you'd be excited being a Coogeon Warner supporter. So they're looking good this year. Oh, that's good to hear. They, uh, they finished the season quite disappointing last year, the un It's a run there. This is Reef Somerville. Oh, I think you just got held up just short of the line. So North, North Coast will have it just right on their, on their try line. They yeah, look very dangerous down that side, but once again, the Bulldogs working there off their try line. So, Northern Rivers, so coming into this one, their under-16s premiers from last year in Group 18 was Blamble with minor and major premiers. So, I'm, I mean, I can't say for sure, but maybe there was a few Blamble players that crossed over to Coogeon last year. Well, I can't say, but a nice kick field position here for the Doggies for the oh. first time so, in this match. So this is not what Northern Rivers Titans needed in coming into this half of it. This half, they've been so well in discipline, and they've get, gifting the North Coast Bulldogs a 40-metre position right in their own half of field. It does feel like the whole game's been up uh, their end, but we've only we're only five or seven minutes into the game, so it's early days. Nicely hit up there. So this is this will be now their first go inside Northern Rivers Titans half of the field. And forgive us, but we're just having a hard time reading the Bulldogs numbers just from where we are. We'll do our best for you. Yeah, I, think that, I think that was the uh, Damon Allison. That, that, big, that was Joe Lewis. Lewis go. goes for the run. He's got just a group to beat it. Pass it. Oh, it goes right in the hands of Jack Field. Jack Field. Well taken. <laughs> He's, he was a late addition to this squad from last week, Kevin. I think he scored a try last week as well. For well he, he just done some great work in the last set of six on the other side of the field. So. He looks like an enthusiastic winger. That's what we want to see. So that was nicely tackled there by Jackson Longer from Just Old Bar. Strong run there by Byron Jones, number 16. He's done well since he's got on there. So I think that that's, uh, I believe that's Noe Hanson. I, I, I see it uh, turn, yeah. That's Jack Cullen. They're looking good, the forwards, for the Rivers. Nice kick. That's off the back of the and Bulldogs can they player. they gather that, beating everyone. What? What's um, he called here? I think he's caught a, a knock on. So, scrum feed for the Bulldogs. Uh, about 40 metres inside their own half of the field. Well, that should be a penalty then if it was a uh, knock on. I'm not sure what, exactly what happened there. But, yes, here's a, a feed to the Bulldogs, just short of halfway. Score still nil all. So, this is now going to be played on away from the commentary side of field. And nicely taken in the tackle there by Nicholas Troy from Ballina. That's Riley Maxwell just playing the ball. He, he looks like an exciting fullback. The black head gear. It'll be interesting to see what... So Norman Rivers have done well in defence thus far, but they can't ill afford to have the Bulldogs play inside their own 20 because they are dangerous just as much as they are. That's, oh, that was meant to go in the hands of Mitchell Clark, but it's That's missing all together. Good pick up there. It looks like uh, <clears throat> Matthew Avery... Jumped on so the that's Reef, Reef Somerville runs it from dummy half. This player should see it inside the Bulldogs half a field. So that's Cox, Bailey Cox, the number 13. 40 metres out, gets it into the hands of Thomas Weaver. Here he goes again, the 16. That's Byron Jones. You can, you can sense there's a bit of a Kudjan connection out there, Kev. They're playing well off each other. This is going off to Weaver. Oh, Cut out pass. Nice. That's going right ahead to Jack Field. I must and score. in the corner, oh, Jack Field. Good try. Had Forever and a day to get in that corner and weaves it through properly. 4 0. Great pass by Weaver. The cut out pass to uh, Jack Field, and he had the, the two players to be. He had a bit of work to do. He stepped inside and then stepped back outside. Good work, Jack Field. And this Northern Rivers team, mate, they're definitely playing with a lot more purpose. It was good work from the forward pack to uh, make such good yards up the field and then 
and Weaver. Great work, great captaincy, good half backmanship. And now he's going to see if he can put it over. He's about two minute, metres in from the sideline. Of course, Jack Field, he is a Coogeon representative. One of seven out there today for the Northern Rivers Titans under John's, Andrew John's squad. He did, in fact, score a try against Parramatta last week, Kev. And a pretty impressive one too now, I remember. I remember watching that game last week on RTV. Well, about two metres from the sideline was... There's a very uh, small two metres. It's actually two inches, two inches in from the sideline. Yeah, well, that's, that was down at McCready Park too, wasn't it? That's down, down your... Correct me if I'm wrong, but is that down your that's old... There, that's there. That's, that's the best ground in Parramatta, McCready Park, Guildford. I'll, I'll go as far to say. Although they have done ring rows up. And also, this kid's impressed me too, Thomas Weaver. This lad, he kicked eight from nine in that game last week. Could he get off to a, another start? Uh, just, just to the right. I think he was on his wrong side. It was a nice kick, bro. So it does remain. 4-0 Northern Rivers Titans over the North Coast Bulldogs. He did kick eight from nine last week, Thomas Weaver. He's also, I believe this is his second campaign at country in the country rep competitions. He represented under 14 for Group 18 in 2017. And he also represented, I've got him doing my research on him, he represented the NSW Triple C side in the Australian Secondary Schools competition as well. Well, he certainly wheezes his way in out of the defence <laughs> no line. No pun intended, eh, Kev? <laughs> Good take by the nine. That's Oscar Bryan who took to, taken the hit. So that's going to be, I think that's Byron Jones. Jack Cullen. Sorry, Jack Big Cullen. Big number 10. This is Bryant. That's Bailey the uh, ba Bailey Fox. The good good Fox. tackle there from Harry Grant. He, representing Foster Tun Curry. Takes it just shy of the halfway line. And there's Joe Hanson. Now Oscar Bryan, he has his choice of left or right here. They're going to go left. Go into the hands of Weaver. Pass it back inside field. And this is where the rivers are looking strong. Their forwards are all putting their hands up. Ready to go. Making good yards. Right, so this is Weaver with the kick. And he beats everyone. They might even, if it stays still, it's not going to happen for him. So 20 metre restart now for the Bulldogs. Yeah, the right idea. He just needed that to, to pull up one or two metres shorter. They're ready to defend though, the Rivers. Look at them. So as they play now, 20 metres out. Nice tackle there by Oscar Bryant. And so. And nicely tackled there by Bailey Cock. Good over the top, good over the top hit too from, the, so it's also, from Joe Hansen. Also a bit of a representative from Wollombo out there too. There's three players out there at this time. Oh, good ball. And so there's a gap there. Oh, just went right into the shoulder of Bailey Cock. Take a bow, Jackson Longo. What a ball. 40 metres out. He goes, no, he doesn't. Jalen De Groot's going to just beat him, but uh, I think they just caught Jalen De Groot underwears there, but might work out well for him. He's Oh, he's just strung down there by Mitchell Clark. He looks like he's got a, uh, a Union Jack on his headgear. <laughs> good old Jalen DeGroote. He's playing, playing good, the, the fullback for the Rivers. And, and he milks a penalty. He gives work. away the penalty. Yeah, I thought good work there from Matthew Avery. Come in, take a bit of work off his forwards. The Northern Rivers forward pack's been outstanding so far in this game. So, of course, nice. coming in. Of course, sorry, Cap. Um of course, coming into this one, this is a whole fresh squad from last year's Andrew John's Cup squad from last year. And um, I think we can recall, I think the score was 22-12 the last two times. Well, like, we called it down in Cross Harbour last year. Uh, I'll never forget it. We, it was about, we, it was basically um, Cyclone Irma kind of wins <laughs> up the top of the Cross Harbour Comets grandstand there. But I do recall that uh, North Coast, they won last year. They'll be looking to try and get some bragging rights in, in this derby. Of course, so I make mention where Tweed Coast Raiders, you were there, Kev, it was Tweed Coast Raiders versus, who was it, Coss Harbour yep. in the Challenge Cup. Oh, yes. And Tweed Coast, they won 62 to nil. So they'll be looking to try and get a little bit, a little bit of mid-north coast bragging rights this, on the south side of the Clarence River. So Oscar Bryant plays into the hands of Ryan Foran. In all fairness to Coss Harbour in that game, they only had four players from their grand final side. A great win to the, to the Raiders. Looking very dangerous here, the Rivers. So it's played Bailey now. Cox. Cox gets into the hands of, and could he get he's, himself over? He does. I think he's in Nicholas Troy. Nicholas Troy from Ballina. Had it on a silver platter, thus making it eight points to now. The Titans over the Bulldogs. Yeah, this um, looks like it might open up into a bit of a big straw. 
the rivers are all over him. <coughs> Great play there by the 5'8 as well, I'll give him a rap. Riley Lack, he uh, did a good kick for touch and good use of the field. Once again, the forwards, everyone's pitching in for the rivers here. So, as I mentioned, this, this team is a complete change from last year's Andrew Johns Cup squad. This, this, of course, I refer to the team that made it to the semi final last year. It was at this very ground, Kev, where at this very post where they're kicking into, where they got him off that kick off a penalty, as you can recall. That was, that was the greatest finish to any game that we saw last at, year. I thought that was awesome. 18 16 over the Grand Northern Tigers. Close. We were there for that one. Looks like the Rivers are about to uh, bring on some in fresh interchange players. Thomas Weaver occupies the extras, thus making it now 10 points to nil the Titans over the Bulldogs. Mind you, I'm not sure he could take off for the Rivers. They're all on fire. No, they're just, they're just having a bit of a warm up. So these, in these Rivers now that they score next, they can pretty much knock the wind out of any sail that the Bulldogs intend on. So in this squad for the Andrew Johns Cup, they had 11 players representing from Group 1 and 14 from Group 18, and actually eight from Kudjan. So seven of those eight are out there today. And there's no less than 19 players that played in the under-15s competition from last year. So that, that was a, a post-season competition too, Kev, where they basically got to know each other and then delved in, so to speak, into this competition. So they've had some some time together already over the over the past few months. Yeah, well, I can tell you right now, just this Northern Rivers team is better than the uh, Andrew Cup Northern Rivers side we saw last year, no doubt. And of course, way another penalty. But they are playing great football. So they have, for me though, Kev, they haven't really. The thing is, it's ten points to nil. I Northern Rivers, as you said, this is a better team. They haven't really kept it out of second gear yet. So this will be interesting to see once they really get going. Yeah, well, I, I think you're exactly right. They could be 22 nil. So this bike's had a great impact since coming on. So that's Byron Jones. They've got Ro Re Rowan Mansfield to his left, but they're off into the hands of that was Bailey Cock. Well, this forward pack works together remarkably well. You've got a, a lock forward who plays a bit like a five eight. This is Johansson. Gets in the hands of Weaver. Gets in the hands of Ray Somerville. The Cudgeon connection there. Very dangerous down that right side. 20, so this is. Just shy 10 metres out. This is Johansson. Gets in the hands. Of, that's Cock. Falling backwards. And and the Bulldogs there. They pick up the spills. They'll have it 10 metres out from their own line. Well, there's another chance on begging for the Rivers. As you say, it is only 10 nil. So, so they, what a ball. That's nice, great work. Nice defence there from the Titans. And, and nicely completed in the tackle there by Byron Jones. He's played well. It's, uh, it's Longer. Jackson Longer. Just playing the ball back now. If you just joined us from coming from the other strands or just coming back from breakfast or coffee, it is in fact 10-0 Northern Rivers Titans over the North Coast Bulldogs. Good work there by the 5'8", Jay Lewis, to make sure his mate didn't get thrown on his back. Good defence. Nice hard run. Great defence, Joe Hanson. This is Grady Spokes to play. He'll take the kick. The group's more aware of it this time, but it will go to the hands of That's Jack a good Field. kick. Nicely collected there by Jack Field. And oh, he's backed himself. He's not slow, Jackfield. Nicely run, but he's going to be taken there by Mitchell okay. Clark. He's just run across field, unfortunately, but still, it was a good effort. Here he goes from dummy half, Avery. Nicely oh, run good there run, Avery. Avery. I thought he was through. And you can see this. Still, a, great run. He's actually coming back from a leg injury from a couple of weeks ago. Oh, that was a great they run. Played. They're all offside. He's actually coming back from injury. He missed he's last He's called a game. forward pass, but wow. Every so, one of the Bulldogs' defence line was offside. <laughs> So, chance gone begging there for the Northern Rivers Titans. And I was Very lucky, I think. I was referring there to Mitch Avery out there. He missed last week's game. I think he was carrying an injury. Well, he actually had an injury, I dare say, in Foster two weeks ago. So, um, I was, as I mentioned, there was two players changed from the Northern Rivers squad. There's actually three missing from the North Coast Bulldogs, and they're missing a bit of personnel. Uh, Mikhailo Donovan is a player that's missing for... That hit for me when I was watching that stream last week. He was very impressive. Right. So they're, they're missing him in attack. And he actually did a pretty impressive try-saving tackle in the in the far side corner. So they're missing him as well as, and this would have been a fun name to call, Tra Travis Downtown. He was another impressive player for the Bulldogs. You would have loved calling him Travis Downtown. Oh, yes, I'm sure I would have that. Oh, great offload again. They'll go in here, the Bulldogs. They, nice hard run. I believe that's... That was Damien 
Sorry, Damien Allison. Jackson Longer. Jackson Longer's done three perlers of an off They look like a try. Now, they must score here, the Bulldogs. So they're set for a right side play. On the, I believe this is the fourth phase. This is going to be Spokes. Oh, he's got a hands himself. It. Got to get it to this winger. He's got no one on him. So this is the fifth and last now. They're spread out for a right side hope. play. Bailey Thompson's there. In backfield, should go to him, but it's going to miss him. Oh, this will be a shy of time, and he scored a few few tries in this campaign already, but there, Rowan Mansfield has him well read in defence. Opportunity goes begging, so it'll be now Norton Rivers Titans 10 metres out from their own line. There was no depth in that back line. That was that was uh, almost sad to watch. Sometimes you should just put it on the boot. What a run. Beats three players. Go! Oh, that was Jalen DeGroote. Caught unawares of the tackle there, and that was well taken there by Ben Brennan. A nice little flick pass there, but unfortunately uh, wasn't in any space. Good hit up there. I think that's the, uh, the try scorer. Number, oh no, number that's, 17 we got on. Logan Smith from Ballina. Welcome to the field, Logan. Right. He's taken heavily in the tackle there. Good, good attacking play there from the Titans to get it inside the Bulldogs' half, though. They've still got another couple of tackles up their sleeve. This is Cullen. Jack Cullen goes himself. Once again, this forward pack is just all over him. So he wants like the ball again, the seven. No, cut him out. Weaver. Weaver. Into the hand. Inside. Oh. The, he's a good little worker, Oscar Bryant. It could be raked. No, he's just dropped that. Just as we're giving him, him a rate. He's played a good game now, Oscar Bryant. He's been everywhere. Good little number nine. Once again, another let off to the Bulldogs. You've got to, you've got to give it to them. They, uh, they, haven't, they haven't stopped trying on the Bulldogs. So that makes it 10 10 nil. In favour of the Rivers. Of course, all Andrew Johns and Lowry Daly Cup games are proudly sponsored and presented by SEL World Australia and Anytime Fitness. And of course, Bar TV all across the Country Rugby League, Facebook and website. As North Coast Bulldogs now play for 20 metres out from their own line. Nicely taken the tackle by Oscar Bryant. Ooh. Slams him down. Does well just to keep him parallel. Great tackle by the number nine, making up for his error. And again, and again. Good tackle, Oscar. Right Little workhorse. Tackle. This is Spokes from Dummy Half. Nicely hit up there. And again, great tackle, Oscar. Oscar that's that's what you do when you make a mistake. You, you, you do the next three or four tackles, and it's pretty much easily forgotten. Whoa. That was so almost they've given dangerous. away the penalty there. Yeah, that was it. That was uh, actually, I'd probably blame, I'd blame the number 16, Brian Jones, for that. Just lifted the feet a bit unnecessarily. And as I was mentioning before, the Northern Rivers Titans, they, they, have, to ta they have to really target Mitchell Clark. As I said, he's scored two lo loads of tries in two games already. They'll know it too coming into this one that he's the player to watch. The Bulldogs have been disappointing in the fact that they're not using the ball as well as the Rivers are. It is a good opportunity for them right now. They're 30 metres out. It's the first tackle. Let's let's get it to you, mate. 30 metres out, Spokes <laughs> gets into the hands of... Couldn't quite make the number where we are. As again, we apologise. The numbers aren't really the easiest to read for the Bulldogs. This is Mitchell Clark. Well brought down the tackle by Reef Summerville. This is Spokes. Good defence by the Rivers once again. Oscar Clark and, and Bo Byron Jones in amongst it. So, and oh, that's there's there's still Must numbers score. on the right. They might be able to get oh. something from this. Thomas Weaver though has other ideas. They might be looking for a short side play here. I've seen Bailey Thompson. There's Keefer. That's where they're going. Kick across field. They were aiming for a show of time and they're on the right side, but wasn't right. going to get to him. Great pick up from De Groot. Great work from the full back there. Nice here we go. A bit of work there again from our mate Rowan Mansfield. He's been on fire this afternoon. Group plays it from dummy half. So they're about 30 metres out from their own line. They'll just... They just haven't left third gear for me, the Titans. I, I hope this is not a sign for them where they can just put the... Oh, what a ball. Him. Nice ball. Gets to the hands of the Groot. And they're going to send them back down into their own half of the field. Another silly penalty there by the Bulldogs. Poor discipline there by the Bulldogs. He's just held him down too long. Great offload from... From uh, the uh, number 11, I think it was. That's 17. So Great offload from Logan Smith. 45 metres inside there in the Bulldogs' half a field. Nice run there by Ryan Ford. He's back on, so he's, he's obviously passed his HIA. Yeah, good to see. I think he might have just 
had something in his eye. I reckon he copped a finger in the eye. And of course, there's Jordan Gallagher playing it from dummy half. I can recognise him from the red and white. So he's a South Grafton product. So he's got the, the South Grafton Rebels headgear there. That's the colours of the Rebels, which is the crosstown rivals of where we are today at Frank McGarren's Field, home of the Grafton Ghosts. I'm yeah, not sure where I've seen Jordan Gallagher play, but I remember him. He's a handy little number nine. This is Troy. Taylor Vox scoring here. Looking to double his tally. The Rivers. I reckon Ryan Mansfield's going in. Ryan Mansfield. Get Gallagher. it out to him. It's a deep left side play. Ah, oh, good. Good stop from the Doggies. Probably not the best option for the kick there. Still. So that Once again, the Doggies are working out. And they're going to oh, bring him goodness. over. Yeah. Well read in defence there. But no, the referee's had other ideas. He's, he's called that a theme as a tackle. So That's a 50-50 penalty, isn't it? That, that can go either way. Yeah. Uh, in fa in fairness, he kind of surrendered in the tackle a little bit. But, yeah, as you can say, that could have went either way. Uh, I think he was still in motion. But still, those penalties are 50-50. So, of course, coming into this campaign for the North Coast Bulldogs... They had a 16-all draw of it against Parramatta and Foster Tunkari, and they went on done the business against Central Coast last week, 36-12. Good tackle. North Coast, they, of course, they conceded the first try in that game, then they basically went on to dominate from there. That first try, a bit of a wake-up call. Oh, another good work. That was a great tackle there from uh, number 12. That was Ryan Foran. Just got on the field. I'm happy to say that the best player on the field so far will be the number 16, I think. Byron Jones, he's, uh, he's been everywhere. Good in defence and attack. Mind you, it's hard to fault any of the forwards for the Rivers side. So, coming into this one, in the under-15s and 16s, the North Coast, of course, are represented by Group 2 and 3. Sawtell were the, the major premiers in last year's under-15s, and Barraville was the major premiers in the 16s. They went, of course, Barraville, though, was the only one that went minor and major. Barrowville, that's the, that's the place that Greg Inglis put on the map. Yeah, so if you can call it from Queensland, I dare say. Well, he's retiring at the end of the year, so they can no longer use that one. Is he really? Fair yeah, or well, from Rep footy anyway. This is Weaver into the hands. I think that's Logan that's, Smith. Oh, that's a 12. That's Ryan Foran. Ryan Foran. What a great yeah. try. Uh, I, sorry. I thought they had him about five or six metres out, but he, he just kept his balance and somehow made his way to the trial line. Good try, Ryan Foran. And, of course, he came, came back on after the head assessment. And what a way to do so. That's making the score now. 14. 14, 14 now. Northern Rivers the tight over the yeah, I, I'm going to guess. I'm going to have a guess. And I reckon that someone stuck their finger in his eye. And that's why he went off the field. Because he, he didn't look dizzy. And he definitely didn't limp or anything. And as he, he should get this kick, sorry. That's all right. as, we, as we mentioned in the group three... The major premiers coming from Old Bar and in the, in the 15s and the 16s it was Taree Pampers with their major premiers. Taree, of course, went on to become minor premiers. And Foster Tunkari, they... they sorry. Good old Foster Tunkari, that's a lovely part of the world. Yeah, they, they hosted an impressive four, game, four games down there a couple of weeks ago. I think marathon. He, he should put this one straight over the black dot, I, I would imagine. Weaver. Yeah. Over the black dot, it is 16 to nil. Norman Rivers Titans over the North Coast Bulldogs. And speaking of four game stretches, you and, uh, you and I, Kev, will be in Lismore next week for one ourselves. Uh, yeah, who, who, who are Northern Rivers Titans up against? Central Coast. Central Coast, yeah, good one. Central Coast, the, did they get the wooden spoon in this comp last year? Oh, I, can't, I, I think, I think they, they struggled. I think in the Andrew Johns Cup, but Laurie Daly Cup was Northern Rivers. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay, so we could be in for... But from what we've seen, the, the teams, the squads are completely different. And, of course, that brings in the ladies in the under-23s next week. So that's coming from Crozier Oval next week in Lismore. And, of course, you'll see it on Bar TV, proudly sponsored by SEL World Australia and Anytime Fitness. So join us next week for when it will be four games per match day in the cross-country championships. As we're back live now here at McGurren, Frank McGurren's Field in Grafton. This is Byron Jones, takes it up just shy of the halfway line. Yeah, I think Coach Sean Davison will be very proud of his uh, Titans at half time. He'll be patting all the forwards in the back, that's for sure. And they, they've controlled the ball well. It's been the Bulldogs to have uh, 
made most of the mistakes. It's high ball. Kick goes up. Jalen Groot's keen to get it, but it's just going to bounce over his head. That They're not easy to anywhere. catch those ones. <laughs> <laughs> I felt for him. Batty uh, Riley Maxwell off the hook there. Now that, oh, I, yeah, I kind of thought there was a hint of a knock-on from there. Referee agrees. That's a very sloppy play of the ball. Probably the worst time to do it. Right in front of your uh, try line. We can't be too far from half time. And I was just going to say, Kev, that you'd think North Coast to get back in this one. they really got to be next to score and probably in this half. Well, if they don't, they're in a bit of trouble. I'm, I'm surprised it's only 16-0. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. This has been a, a bit of a one-way traffic. The way that Northern Rivers Titans play, they were, uh, I think they were up about 30-odd nil by this point against Parramatta. So, oh, that... And across the car for oh, Jordan wow. Gallagher. No, the referee is going to say knock on. And North Coast Bulldogs are <laughs> off the hook, right on the buzzer. So they'll oh. live to fight another day in the second half because that would have been critical if that had have actually gone about half a metre back the other way, Kev. What a great half of football from the Northern Rivers. If I could, I could only find one fault in their game so far, and it's probably to Weaver. There's little kicks that he's doing where he just drops it on his boot. They're not working out, but everything else they're doing is uh, definitely going down the right way for them. Well done to the forwards. My man of the match so far has got to go to uh, the, the number 16, Brian Jones. He's been everywhere. Exactly. And, and, of course, for me, we had a slow start to the game, but Rowan Mansfield, he's been doing a couple of good line breaks. And, of course, Jalen Groot began backing up on his form coming into this competition. Half time from Frank McGarren's field in, Gra in Grafton it is Northern Rivers Titans 16, North Coast Bulldogs nil. We're going to take a break for a few minutes and we'll be back with you for the second half of action.
the under 18s division. We'll have the North. North a little bit of Titans also taking like North Coast of Wolverine. Wayne Neville and Kevin Ferrucci are coming to your life. Fred McGowan's Phil, home of the Grafton Ghosts for the third match day of the Andrew Johns and Laurie Daly Cups. And if you just joined us, it is in fact Northern Rivers. Titans over 16 points to nil over the North Coast Bulldogs. A little bit of, uh, uh, around the grounds action, of course, 40 points to 10 in the Andrew Johns Cup, Newcastle defeating the Central Coast in Maitland. And then the Laurie Daly Cup, Central Coast, made it one apiece down there, 22 points to 10 over Newcastle. And currently in progress, it's just about, just short of half time. And Singleton between the Great Northern Tigers and Parramatta, 10 all in that game. And down in Campbelltown Stadium, Penrith Panthers getting the job done in Andrew John's Cup action. As we could get back to that in a sec. The kick finds touch. Yeah, he made the mistake and let it bounce and it skidded to the left and good feed, good, op good opportunity for the Bulldogs to hit back straight away. So, as I was just about to mention, the Penrith Panthers winning 32 to 12 over the GR, sorry, GSR West Tigers. And of course, all live stream, all games will be live streamed on Bar TV and proudly presented by SEL World Australia and Anytime Fitness. So, North Coast, would they be able to get first points in this one to get back, get some momentum taken back in this one, Kev? What do you think? Oh, I think if they score now, yeah, anything's possible. But they, go, they must score next in this first half. If... Oh, nicely hit. So, that would have been revved up, getting themselves in the third gear, the North Coast. Could they get first points in this one? They've got a numbers on the left, but going himself. Just short of the line. Yeah, good tackle by Reef Somerville. Through the hands, oh. and oh, he's just dropped that one. Oh, no, no, play on, pick up. first. Yep. It was a hospital pass. So there's Ben Brennan. And nicely brought down there by Nicholas Troy. He's going to get a bit deeper. Game. So this is... We've hit back the short side. Cut out pass, oh, and strong. that's going to go full right backwards. He might even get put in the touch. The touch, he's got his flag up. What a shame there for the North Coast Bulldogs. It was kind of like they were shocked and surprised that they had an opportunity to to, uh, to score straight off and panicked a bit. We'll see uh, the Rivers work it out from their uh, own, own own goals. Yeah, just a few drops of rain coming here in front of us, Kev. So just a light shower. But as I said, on the way down here, there was rain about. Yeah, it's no longer it's no longer hot and humid. We're getting a cool breeze and a bit of a shower. I think the players will appreciate this. And correct me if I'm wrong, this actually happened last year in a game. It was, um, I, was I, I could recall saying it was Melbourne-like weather. It was hot and humid for the first half and then the rain came. And so Grafton is sort of like Melbourne in a way. Well, yeah, I guess they're, they're, they're very similar. So that was Jack Cullen that takes the hit up. It's going to be now through the hands of Jordan Gallagher. Weaver with the kick. These kicks are going to be deadly in the wet weather. This might even find it right where he wants it. Well kicked there by Thomas Weaver. And they might just keep him in as a beautiful own kick. Line. Beautiful kick and great chase. He, he looked up. There was four blokes to beat. He never stood a chance. This will be a line drop out now, and and the Rivers have just turned things around from from letting that kick go over the sideline. They're a big chance of scoring a try here. So I'm, I'm backing them to do it. So with the record from last year was three and one for when I mean, you know they only played four games, being there was only. Five teams in the competition. I think that was five teams. Yeah, five teams in last year's Andrew Johns Cup competition. So this win will already take them up to three. And they've, with the tight, I refer to the North Rivers Titans. And they've got Central Coast next week. So you'd think they'd be odds on to make a four from four there. But, but then again, football's a funny game, Kev. Yeah, well, you'd hope they wouldn't lose to Central Coast after the improve. Oh, they're Reed. in here. Reece Somerville. Somerville. Somerville's in. Reese Somerville. Doubles now, making it 20 points to nil. Thank you, good night. Courtesy of Reese Somerville. Another Kujan base try there, Kev. Yeah, well, it's really hammering down now too, and uh, I think this could be a, a, a long half for the Bulldogs. A long half, because all the Rivers look like they're just enjoying their footy out there, playing for each other. Someone does a good kick through. They've got five people chasing it. And they're a lot deeper in their back line movements. Whereas uh, the this Bulldogs side, when they send it out wide, they, uh, they're as flat as attack. And they never look like really penetrating this Northern Rivers defence line. So that now makes the score 20 nil with a kick to come. And as you can see, it is bucketing down. 
the roof has just opened up. And it's a good thing we're here in Grafton and not somewhere like I recall where we did the semi finals last year and then Triple RL in Wollumbar. There's no roof to cover us there, Kev, so we're nice and dry up here. Yes, well, and the rain's always good for the country. As, so, especially as of late. Drought, 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 chicken times. It was definitely a very dry summer, a very long one too. But it's good that the rain's here and the football's back. Thomas it's Weaver. Made a meal of that one. Yeah, well, I was just going to say he was going to have a... It's going to be interesting to see how he takes that kick with the rain bucketing down. Oh. So, score remains 20 points to nil in favour of the Titans. And the rain is pretty much just stopped. It, it, it buckets down, and now it's just stopped pretty so much. So it definitely, that. definitely is Melbourne weather. I'll be down there in two weeks for the Grand Prix, so I hope it's so the rain stays up here. <laughs> so a bit about Reef Somerville. He was actually a Group 18 representative for um, the Under 15s last year. One of the 19 I mentioned. He scored a try in that campaign too against Group 21. He also scored. It's his second try in this competition. Scored one against Newcastle two weeks ago. Also, <laughs> sorry, Kev, he also represented around the 14s level too. So he's a, already a campaigner at country, country rep level, Ref Somerville. So he's got a bit of experience of rep footy up his sleeve. One of the things I like about his Northern Rivers team, which has certainly helped them this afternoon, is, is their forward pack. And the forwards coming off the bench, this Logan Smith and uh, Byron James. They've been on fire this afternoon. So this is Nicholas Troy now. Now there's a bit of cloud cover. I can just make out the North Coast Bulldogs numbers a little easier, so it's not as bright. There you go, Smith. Yeah, <laughs> Nicholas Troy, he's another one. Both of the second rowers have scored two out of their four tries. This is Gallagher from dummy half. He goes himself. Tries to... I think he's going to be dangerous towards the end of this half, Gallagher, with his pace. Lack gets it in the hands of Cullen. Gets it... I think that was Ryan Foran, one of the try scorers from earlier. Playing the left side of the field. Weaver cut out, ah, pass to the corner. What a try. The referee likes it. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. And beautiful so does pass. Jack Field. I think that's his double there, Jack Field. It's definitely his double. It was a beautiful cut out pass. It was virtually a replica of the first try that we saw. But the good thing about that one was Jack Field took it in a bit further and made the kick a bit easier for his mate Weaver, who, who butchered the last kick for goal. 24, sorry, Kev, 24 points to nil. Northern Rivers Titans over the North Coast Bulldogs here at Frank McGarren's Field in Grafton. Of course, coming up next week for the Northern Rivers Titans, that's Crazy Rover and Lismore. We, Bra TV presents four games straight between the Northern Rivers Titans versus the Central Coast Roosters. Myself and Kevin Ferrugia will be there in the box bringing you a marathon of action, of course, for the North Coast Bulldogs. They take on the Greater Northern Tigers at Jeff, Jeff King Motors Oval in Coss Harbour. Those two games, as well as all other fixtures, will be on Bar TV across the country, Rugby League, Facebook, and websites. And of course, all games are proudly presented by SEL World Australia and Anytime Fitness. Trust you enjoying the coverage here, wherever you may be watching. Let us know where you're watching from. So he's uh, kicking here for uh, 26 nil if he gets it. The try scorers this afternoon: two to Jack Field, one to Reef Somerville, one to Nicholas Troy, and one to Ryan Foran. And Weaver himself has kicked two out of four. And he's got the distance there, Thomas Weaver. Just waved away. 24-0, Northern Rivers Titans over the Bulldogs. So, so two out of five now for, for Weaver. But he's captained his side well this afternoon. And at 24-0, you probably don't really... Not too upset if you miss him from the sideline. He was hitting him from every point of the compass last week. Thomas Weaver down in Guildford. Eight from nine, as I mentioned. Though, in all fairness, it looks better conditions down there when I was watching it last week. Maybe he likes the tall posts. <laughs> they do have tall posts there. I did notice that. Hey, the tallest in the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> well, if that's true or not. But... You're the man of the knowledge down there. That's your old stomping ground, though, Kev, back, back in Western Sydney. Great run again from Glenn uh, Logan Smith. So this will be John Gallagher. Oh, no, play. sorry. That's, uh, yeah. That was Nicholas Troy. That's Reef Somerville. He'll be... Just slices it up the middle. Well, gets it, gets his team another 15 metres. And they're playing with more urgency now, the Titans. They, they know that victory is theirs for the taking. But I, I've said in the past in previous calls, Kev, 24 points can kind of be, well, I mean, we're kind of getting into the second half now, but 24 is kind of a, a bad luck number 
for, for some teams. I recall watching when the Brisbane Broncos were playing over the time over time at Suncorp Stadium. I can recall one quite fondly. It was 24 0 against a very depleted Cronulla Sharks team. I think that was when they were having some troubles. And and I'll never forget Cronulla came from nothing and won by two points. The Sharks actually then went and beat the Roosters the following week from like 30 down. So I remember that one. I go, yeah. I can't see that happening here this afternoon. I think what, what's helping this uh, the Rivers attack is the, the combination between Gallagher and and uh, and, and Weaver. The, the, the ball's getting out of the dummy half and onto the runners really quickly. Anyway, we see the Bulldogs with a, a bit of a a bit of an attacking opportunity. So they'll have it. I think it's about they'll take it just shy of the forty. He's just driven back about six or seven meters there. Well defended. He was a sitting duck there, and Joe Hanson and, and Foran didn't let him off for it. How, how, <laughs> and and they just handed it over. An early <laughs> Christmas present, or late Christmas present, I dare say, wherever you want to look at it for the Northern Rivers Titans. Just give, gifted that one right back. Yeah, that was uh, Damon Allison. He just got dusted up by Byron Jones. Great defence, Jonesy. This will be Riley Lack. Gets it to the hands of Ryan Foran. This will be now taken. Nicholas Troy to play the ball. Jordan Gallagher is always looking for work from dummy half. He's been really busy from dummy half. Jordan Gallagher through the hands of Weaver. Gets it off to the hands of Jalen DeGroote. It's just that combination that's done at the Kuchin Hornets combination. Just goes through set of hands. They know their, their, their plays week in and week out. Gets it to the hands of Ryan Foran. He's been so impressive since coming off of that, for that head knock. Well, they've but, got runners everywhere, the Rivers. You know, they're, they're, their player turns and looks, looks to pass it, and he's got options. And the, the Bulldogs just don't have that luxury this afternoon. But once again, they've uh, managed to hold them out for another one. We and see the uh, picking back up. Laurie Daly boys are warming up. It's amazing the difference in size between the 16s and 18s. A lot of growing goes on there. We're just looking forward to seeing the other 23s next week. They're big fellas, Kev. I caught a few, few of their games last year. Yeah, I can't wait to see them play. Under 23s is, a, is an old concept, which they've brought back in. So nicely taken there by, I think that was Jack Cunnell from Kyle. Sorry, yeah, Jack Cunnell from Kyle. with coming off the bench. I think he's the lone Kyle Turkey's representative. They actually had several representatives this time last year. And yeah, I'll, I'll give a wrap to Damon Allison, the front rower for the Bulldogs, the number eight. He's had a good dig this afternoon. He's, he's, a, he's he hasn't had much support from his fellow forwards, but but he's been trying. Good defence there from. Uh, the number 12, the captain, Ben Brennan, for the Bulldogs. He's having a bit of a captain's effort there. Ben yeah, Brennan, he's, he's getting guys. there and having a bit of a dig. Port, Port, Port Macquarie representative. I see Matt Avery to the right of, I think that was Jordan Gallagher. He was keen to go to work. Going to plan it from Riley Lack. Oh, a, a, we have a new player on the field there. His name's Jack Cannell. I just, I just oh, mentioned just, a few yeah. players back. Yeah, okay, right, yeah, yeah. Kick goes up. Nicely kicked there by Riley Lack. And beats everyone. There's three players there. Nicely picked up there. That's Jalen de Groot. Jalen de Groot into the hands of Jack Field. And there's a hat trick for Jack Field. We'll just wait for the referee to confirm it. That is, that is it now. Thank you. Good night. You can roll down. You can roll down the curtains now. That is game over now for North Coast. Yeah, great work there from... Uh Jalen the group picking up Riley Maxwell he made that mistake in the first half where he didn't take the uh, the high ball of the full and he got away with it but that, that time he paid the ultimate uh, ultimate sacrifice and that's why you take it on the full good work again from Jack Field backing up he, he's looked good, good all day on that left wing and it's now 28 points to nil Northern Rivers Titans over the North Coast Bulldogs and you think now we're free from free and they haven't conceded, they've only conceded one try out of three games at this stage, Kev. Well, that's an amazing uh, effort. Or two. I could have been two. Two games against Newcastle. Two still an amazing effort. Kept him to a single digit, though. Eight points. Yeah. So, and then trying to do the sums here. So, 38 plus 52 plus 28 at this stage. Minus eight. I'm norm I normally, my bread and butter during the week is mass, but... Plus your calculators out, and that points differential was still two games to come in this competition. Do you think they're well and truly booked now for the semi-finals based on this performance? Well, I should hope so. They, um, they're a strong side, no doubt about it. And the kicks just waves away, so... Stuss remains 28 points to nil. 
Yeah, 28 points to nil. That's six tries to nil. Two, two out of uh, six goals converted. Hatrick to Jack Field. So I've just whipped out the calculator, Kev. It's so it's 118 points for, so you might have said 110 points already, points differential. And I dare say counting based on this performance. Oh, <laughs> that was Nicholas Troy. He's actually got away with it, though. It's going backwards. And he's, uh, it looks like it was Reef Somerville. He was like, he was like up, diving, up. diving like side on, Kev. He was like right. he was falling over. But you know what? He just had a good, good hit up there. So he, uh, he made up for it. And he, he, he got away with it well. Not, doesn't matter how but ugly it looks, Kevin. It's just how, how you do it at the end of the day. That was impressive there by Nicholas right. Troy. I remember I remember um, a player from Bell, and I forget who it was, that he actually done some little somersault. It was like he wasn't intending to, but he set, kept, kept the ball in play. And I think, um, I'll try and figure out who he is in a second. He was a Bell, a player. And there's there's numbers on the left there. They're good chasing there by Northern Rivers. And he might even, might even yeah, but no. Fought, fought twice of it to try and push him into the dead ball line. Northern Rivers have done really well today to to make the uh, the North Coast Bulldogs have to work out from their trial on every set of six. Yeah, I was trying to figure out who that plays from Barnum, but I won't forget it was down on this side of the field. I remember calling it, and they'd done this somersault, and he more or less, he wasn't intending to, but he flicked it out, and then the next player, they scored from it. Nathan Blacklock, did he ever play from Barnum? No. <laughs> you might find that out between games here, because... So kick goes up. This will be Matt Avery was keen to get it, but it's just going to beat him and it'll go over the sideline. So it'll be, I think this will have the 35 metres out from their own line for the Northern Rivers Titans. This is a good opportunity for a breather for the Rivers. They're in front by 28 points. Don't look like scoring at all here this afternoon. The North Coast Bulldogs. The defence is, 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 is probably saved them from a, a humiliating score. But anyway, the rain is easing off, but we'll see how they go in the... For now, at least. Has the, has the uh, Bulldogs in Laurie Daly? Has their Laurie Daly so team been doing well they, looking, they look pretty impressive. They've all they actually, they've actually had the same amount of points because they're not North Coast... The North Coast Bulldogs, their um, Laurie Daly team, also had a draw against Parramatta, 12-all. Um, and they, they had a big win against Central Coast last week. As they, they take on the run, there's no one to beat him. He can get the pace, he'll go over himself. What a run there. Easy as you like. And Rowan that's... Mansfield. And it's Rowan Mansfield. He's a... he's had a try a game in, in this campaign as well, and he adds another one. 32-0. Yeah, it was only a matter of time before he got one today. He looked like scoring about three times in the first half. He's got plenty of pace. He's got a good fend on him. And he looks like he might be a hard man to bring down. 32-0, though. Seven tries to zip. And I'd say we're probably only halfway through the second half. So Rowan Mansfield, he was also one of those under-15s representative. Of course, he represented Group 1. And as I mentioned, he scored two tries already in this campaign against Newcastle. He also represented an under-14s level where he scored three tries in a game against Group 14. He had scored five tries in last year's campaign for Ballina. Sorry, he scored two. Sorry, when I said two tries for Newcastle, that was two tries when he played against the 15s. He scored one each in the Newcastle and Parramatta Eels. Right, and now he can add the North Coast Bulldogs to his tally in this competition. Hey, Weaver's got one. 34 0. 34 0. Titans over the Bulldogs. Weaver's kicking at three from seven. Three of those were from the sideline in, in Weaver's defence. He's, uh, he's kicking pretty much on par of it. He hasn't had a bad afternoon. He's captained this team like a champion and, and set up two or three of the tries with his cutout passes to Jack Field. And as I said, if, you, if you're a Coogan Hornets supporter, you'd be very proud to be watching these these games. I mean, just in general, like, it, all, the, all these kids out here, all these lads have had played great games across these past three games and definitely in, you'll be seeing more of this in the future as well. Great run off the kickoff there from Jack Kunal. This now is uh, the big number 10, Jack Cullen. So Gallagher will play it just shy of the halfway line. Oh, so is Joe Hanson. So yeah, Gallagher's having a great little game in there at number 19 in the dummy half. 
So 45 metres away from the north coast line. This is Bailey Cock. And they're setting out very deep on the right side there, Kev, on the third phase of play. Interesting now that Gallagher's gone for the kick because they, they were... They it's were a good kick too. It was a, it's a great kick. Very impressive right. kick to pin him right in the corner. Oh, they've been doing it all, all game. The Bulldogs have had to work out from their try line. Nicely driven back there and defends the Titans. They have given them no field position at all. They've absolutely just monstered them just inside their own 10, 20 metre line. And that's, as well as this impressive attack, Kev, I mean, I mean you, as I said, they've only let in eight points in three games. And it's all on display here to see that they've just got good discipline, just keeping them inside the opponent's 20 metre half. Sorry, tw yeah, the 20 metre section of the field. Did uh, the Sean Davison, was he coached last year uh, at the Riverside? I can't deny or confirm that, Or, have I, or have I trumped you on one there? Well, you, you <laughs> certainly did. My research didn't go that far, unfortunately. Ooh, that, that, something to work on. That's a bad this tackle, week. those ones. So, Good with that way. being said, they've gained a set of six out of this one. So, this they will finally should see some play inside the North River's half the field. So, this will be now be... Oh, and that just spills across the carpet. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's Harry Grant with the ball. Just shy of the... Halfway line. Yep, you were spot on there. I tell you what, these Rivers boys are hitting hard. Absolutely monstering them. It's such a, it's such a, uh, such a dominant bench that they've, they've come up with. Ooh. That's a great hit there again from uh, Big Joe Hanson and, and nice, Cox. Nicely recovered there by the Titans. And I'm probably taking into consideration too, Kev, for the Northern Rivers Titans that the Gold Coast Titans have always been part of the Group 1, Group 18 seats and Triple RL system for some time now. But it's now finally... Um, you can see it now with the Titans jerseys out there and the, and the logo and stuff. They've actually taken it up a few more notches in as far as development as goes as well. So I think that they've, this has also paid off for them as well, getting more involved, even more thought. And even and in the North Coast case as well with the Bulldogs, as the Bulldogs have been down in the mid-North Coast for some time as well. Yep. Great work from Riley Lack there. And again, backing up with little Jordan Gallagher. It's a great little number nine. The group, Thomas Weaver, and penalty given to the Titans. I think that was caught for a late hit. That might be the biggest headache that Sean Davison has, is yep. trying to figure out which one to, to start at number nine next week, because he's got two two dynamic hookers in uh, Oscar Bryant and Jordan Gallagher. He looks oh. hurt now. This is uh, Riley Lack, I think. As I mentioned at the start of this game, Cam, for... As we were announcing the team list, there was actually two, yeah, two changes for the Titan squad. And it was Keegan Pace and Jack Coleman, the ones that missed out from last week. And it's a good headache to have because those two boys played absolutely superb last week. And to have Matt Avery come in, he was, of course, he had that injury. So they're giving Matt Avery, the lad, another chance. He's looked impressive today. So this is Johansson. And he's flicked the pass there to, to Byron Jones. I'm back in Jack Field for his fourth try here. Let's see what happens here. Through the hands to so Riley Lack. Gets it out there to Weaver. <laughs> and oh, he's just overcooked that one. Ryan yeah. for him. He's going like a steam train, like yeah. the XPTs you see come free. If he catches that, he scores, uh, Riley. Ryan. When I refer to the XPT, if you're unfamiliar, that, that is the, the long distance country trains that go through here. They still run through this part of the world, but we don't really see much at our end of the world anymore, do we, Kev? No, you don't see too many XPTs or Tangaras, for that matter. We've got the Hain train, the Fooey Fooey steam train. <laughs> As we go back to live action here, just shy of the halfway line, third phase of play, North Coast. Can they get some of the take in the next week? Of course, I've got a tough task against Greater Northern Tigers. Jack De Groot, once again, Groot. absolute blinder. Hasn't, hasn't done a thing wrong all day. It's good to have a safe fullback. And they've given away another yeah. costly penalty He's deep inside there. Oh. Another one, yeah. It's great work, De Groot. Sorry, Kev. I was just about to say with Jalen De Groot, he's, the only thing he hasn't really done in is get some points on the board. He's, he's normally a try scoring machine. Well, we won't hold that against him. It's 38 nil. <laughs> <laughs> he gave a couple of tries to his winger. Thirty-four nil. Yeah, I, 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 I knew I was close. Yeah, exactly. well, you can actually see a bit of blue sky in the background now. How long it will last for? Will I mean, anyone guess? Yes. 
So this is just shy of the halfway line. This is now going to be Bailey Cox. He's had a solid game, Bailey Cox. 40 metres out from the North Coast line. This is Brian. Gets it on the hands of Johansson. So now we've got both the hookers out there. And it's taken about five or six players to bring down Noah Johansson. He's a strong lad. Yeah, Weaver's, Weaver's given himself an early mark and uh, looks like Gallagher's playing half. Oscar. Back inside for Bryant. Nicely run there by Oscar Bryant. So they're 10 metres out. They've had about two, at least two phases left to play with. Very half, Bailey Cox. And gives it on to Foran. As Foran oh. goes himself. Has he got himself a double ride, Foran? Oh, he's no, held he just up. held up. Good work there to the uh, North Coast Bulldogs. So it looks like a hard man to stop that for him once he once he winds up. North Coast, they still look keen in defence though. They haven't got the hands on hips. So this is going to be Bailey Cox. Noah Johansson. They're set deep for right side play. Last time they went here, it worked well. Goes to the hands of Riley Lack. Ah. De Groot in the middle. It was only a matter of time for Jalen De Groot to get over. Well, there's your points. You wanted to score some points. And he has scored points. And that is the cherry on top. 38 nil. You've got to give it to the North Coast uh, Bulldogs. They, they haven't stopped trying, but they've been totally outclassed here this afternoon and they, they, they're, uh, their defence on their try line has been a bit poor at times. And on that occasion, De Groot just he had too much pace. Jalen De Groot, he's now heading towards a full house like the likes of Rowan Mansfield. A try in each game of this campaign, and that's what it's showing. It hasn't just been a one-player effort in this squad. It's been a team effort across the whole board. So he has now got a try against Newcastle, Parramatta, and now he can add North Coast to this one. As a kick goes over, 40 points to nil. Yeah, Riley Lack took the kick there. We've got uh, Weaver. Weaver's on the sideline at the moment. We saw... Uh, uh, Bryant come back on and, and Gallagher going to halfback, which which work, worked a treat as well. So, Coach uh, Sean Davison, he's, he's got a lot of handy players up his sleeve and he's definitely got a campaign on his hands to win this Andrew Johns Cup. They're looking, they're looking at odds. This reminds me of, this team for me, Kev, has reminded me a lot of the Newcastle Knights, Laurie Daly Cup squad that went absolutely absolutely tore the competition to shreds in last year's competition and it was just a team effort and that's and as as you know being witnessing the Tweed Coast Raiders in the NRRRL it was all a team effort across the board which won them the NRRRL title last year oh yeah definitely you can't have any uh, passengers in your team that's for sure exactly right it's team effort and you're seeing it on the bar tv screens so this is Bailey Cox. Oh, what a ball. Hands. Bailey and Cox. Right, Ryan Foran is going to go himself. He does go himself. That will be his double. What an effort by Ryan Foran. And he's got himself a double. He's joined the party. 44 nil. Well, what a ball from Bailey Cox. They've, they've thrown some great passes and out here. Good off ways. And, and they're all backing each other up, which is very, uh, very impressive. They deserve, they deserve all the tries they're getting. So, as you mentioned, Bailey Cox were there with the try assist. That was his Mullumbar Mustangs teammate. So, that's what it is. It's, it's they're playing their club level footy here on the country rep footy. Because as you can see with the seven players I mentioned from Kudjan, the, the three or four from Mullumbar, and you're seeing it just pairing together. So, I think they're just playing in little patches amongst their teammates. And as you can see on, and I think that's probably what worked for Queensland over the years with Melbourne Storm, eh? Well, you possibly, you never know. Uh... Murbar, Murbar Mustangs have been uh, they've been outstanding club and uh, they've produced a lot of good football players if you remember last year when we were doing the semi-finals I, I really took a liking to their reserve grade side exactly. which looked like they were going to get knocked out every week <laughs> but they ended up making the grand final and it starts to remain 44 points to nil as as I mentioned you, you'll see a player for me he played in the Andrew Johns Cup squad for last year He's been signed up by Mullumbar for this season, I dare say, for the under-18 squad. Uh, Jonah Whitlam Rose came from south, from the South Tweed Bears. I they're called. Yeah, I remember him. He was a good player. He was a hooker, wasn't he? Yes. Well, he is a yes. hooker. So he's in the next game. He's in the next game. He's upgrade. He's been graduated now to Laurie Daly Cup squad. So he'll he'll under, he'll be under the wing of Joe Besgrove, who was actually a country under 23s representative. Oh, another good player, Besgrove. He'll feature in the under 23 squad, I dare say. Can, he was quite entertaining week. when he got sent off, actually, in the, uh, in, in the game against Tweed Coast yeah, in, in yeah, the prelim final. Bit of a crowd favourite. Good stuff. 
It's all fun and games out there. <laughs> Good run again by Joe Hanson, the number eight for the Titans. He hasn't stopped. Here goes Bailey Cox again. Magical offload last time he ran it. Plays it back for Bryant. Joe Hanson again. Absolute machine. Nicely run there by Noah Hanson. And he's, he's got the first try in this campaign. And, and he's beaten everybody. Could they dive on this? And, oh, that looked a bit too easy for me. Ryan Matheson, I think, I think it's the fourth. Take Take your pick. I dare. I think that Ryan Mansfield has just scored that. He's That's a double fan, but seriously, take your pick. One of four could have taken that, and 50 points are there now. Beckett's beckoning now for the Royal Rivers Titans. Well, that was embarrassing from the fullback. I mean, for the for the winger for the Bulldogs, but it's a bit too late in the game to sort of start getting embarrassed, isn't it? So let's, well, let's put it this way: I said that the, I think it was free tries back where the curtains were down. I think they've rolled the curtains up and having an encore. <laughs> oh yeah, 48 nil. That's uh, that's disappointing. This is the biggest uh, biggest score we've seen, I think. And I was and I was thinking this was going to be a close game coming into this one. It'd be good to know the sirens about to sound. If he kicks this, it'll be a flat 50. Yeah, I was um. We would like to see a 50. Yeah, it's coming into this one, Kev. It's uh. I Way, North Coast was impressive, but in all fairness to the North Coast, they did have some key personnel out. As I said, Michaela Donovan, I was watching him play last week against uh, the Central Coast, and he impressed me. And I can guarantee you, Kev, guarantee it wouldn't have been this scoreline if it had him and Travis down. Oh, he's got it! And he's got it! 50 the, points to nil! Raise your bat, son! Well done. Raise your bat, they've got the half century. 50 points to nil, and that's how we'll finish here at Frank McGowan's Field in Grafton. Kev, out of this impressive team effort for the Rivers, who did you like? That's very hard to fault anybody in that Rivers side, to be honest. So, um, to pick a man of the match would be an insult to the other 16 players. So I would like to say good luck to the, all the Rivers. You've got a campaign in your hands, and you know, I, my heart goes out to the uh, North Coast Bulldogs. Obviously, you've got two more games to go in this competition. Let's hope you can salvage, salvage something. And, of course, it's one game. They'll be better for it next week. It's, it's a, still two more games of competition. They're still in this, too, up there. So that's, a, that's only their first loss of the season. So they, they've still got a couple of games to, to make good and perhaps maybe even feature in the finals as well. So there's no oh. man's out of it. Well, hopefully that's true. That is only their first loss. But what a loss. I mean, it, it, that's, they'll be bruised and battered after that one. And and, that'll take a big hit to your ego. And, and, I, and in all fairness, when you watch the attacking prowess that the Titans had in the first two games, the, the Bulldogs at least made them work for it in the first portion of the first half, in which didn't look like they were going to, like in the first two games, when against Newcastle and Parramatta, they just went from the blocks from the word go and just you know, left everyone stunned. At least they made them work for it in the first quarter of the game, at least. It just didn't come into fruition until the latter half and the second half. Yeah, you're exactly right. And I will pick up the end of the match. I'll give it to, uh, I'll give it to Bailey Cox. I'll give it to Bailey Cox for that magical ball. So that wraps things up as far as the Andrew Johns Cup competition is concerned here at Frank McGowan's Field and Grafton. It is full time. Northern Rivers Titans 50 to the North Coast Bulldogs nil. We're going to take a few minutes break and we're now going to then we'll bring you Laurie Daly Cup competition in a few moments.
Neville and Kevin Ferugia coming back to you live from Frank McGoran's Field at Grafton, home of the Grafton Ghosts. As we're about to see the Northern Rivers Titans, Laurie Daly's Cup squad coming out into the field. Give you the tail tape between the two teams. Firstly, for Northern Rivers Titans, at fullback, we have Thomas Vickery. And we have the winger pairing of Lachlan West and Rocco Partridge. In the centres, we have Lachlan Hallard and Zach Lateo. Lateo. Jo we've got Joel and Antonelli. Hopefully I got that right, Joel, at halfback. Lachlan, in the scrum, we have Ethan Foster, Jonah Whitlam Rose, Carl Lola here. And look, in the second row, we have Cooper Manny, Parker Bryant, and Simon Pratt, the country under 16th representative from last year. And on the bench, we have Zachary Hicks, Liam Robertson, Timothy Yu Hansen, Kian Roberts Laurie, and Jaden Martins, and the coaches, Justin Stewart. Who do we need to know who's um, on deck for the North Coast Bulldogs, Kev? Yeah, for the North Coast Bulldogs, at uh, fullback number one, Max Shaw, two, Jackson O'Connor, three, Lachlan Williams, four, Kane Parkinson and captain, uh, five, James Munro, six is Nash Atkins, seven, Logan Jones, eight, Sam Burns, nine is Ethan Duncan, ten is Brock Parker, eleven is Jordan Moore, twelve is Ulysses Robert and captain as well, Caden Sakayo as number 13 and on the interchange bench 14 we've got Ivan Madden Ryan Long Bailey Morgan Himayat Robinson Michael White and Blake Howe coached by Darren Dark Coming into this game the Northern Rivers Titans Laurie Daly has got succumbed to two heavy defeats against Newcastle 34-6 and 60-0 in last week's fixture North Coast they as well as their Andrew Johns Cups guys we see a penalty given from to the Bulldogs, they should see a set of six inside the Titans half a field in this one. They they actually coming off a draw, uh, replicated from their Andrew Johns Cup squad against Parramatta, 12 all, and they had a big win against Central Coast last week in Wyong, 34 to six. Well, let's hope they can do a lot better than their Andrew Johns side just did. Uh, yeah, just just copped a 50 nil bruising to the Rivers, and let's hope this game's a lot closer. So as we're coming into this one, when these two teams played last year at Coss Harbour, where's a 36-6 victory for the North Coast Bulldogs? No, I can recall, um, I think it was Ethan Kane from um, Kutchin who actually scored the first try of the game right under the post against the Bulldogs. They weren't known as Bulldogs back then, of course, but... Geez, you got a good memory. Yeah, I remember that too. Ethan Kane, he is a handy fullback. <laughs> played by Ethan Duncan, the Sawtell Panthers product. He'll... No doubt have a bit of a following. Of course, Grafton is about an hour's north of Coss Harbour. Sawtell's basically joined at the hip of Coss Harbour. And could this be first points beckoning early for the Bulldogs? They like it. I think he got it down. The old hit and spin. The referee confirms that within the first minute, the Bulldogs thus making a 4 0. I can't see exactly who scored here, but I, I think it's the fella. As soon as he turns around, I'll tell you. But yeah, it was a great play. It was just the uh, the offload and then the, the hit the hit the line and spin and nearly turned around then. Number twelve. The it was number twelve, Ulysses Roberts. So He's, uh, one of the co-captains. Good try. We'll confirm it, but Ulysses Roberts could be the try scorer. I'm I'm happy to have him. <laughs> Not sure who's kicking the goal here, but yes. This this North Coast Bulldog side. They've already showed their intent that they uh They've got, they, unlike the uh, Andrew John side, that's for sure. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the first game, Kev, um, we're of course in Grafton today, and officially the Northern Rivers Titans are the home team. Thus, being the under-18s in the NRRL and Group 2 competitions, Grafton actually played in Group 2. So, And of course, you could, as the score now made 6-0, and of course, you'd think that the Grafton goes being played out there for the Bulldogs. It's blue, they're playing blue and white as well. That's a good point, yes. It's, uh, that is quite a coincidence, so we didn't look into that. Yeah, the blue and white, the, the seats here are all painted blue and white too, aren't they? So Ulysses Roberts here scored a, scored a good try under the post last week against Central Coast, so he adds to his tally of two. He also represented an under-14s, 15s level for Group 2. He's also... Re so he's... A, Laurie Daly Cup representative from last year. He's also represented country at under 16s level. Ex Barrafel Tigers Junior. Most of these Maxfield, Se Maxfield Eagles players represented Barrafel at one point of their life. 
they were all offside there. And uh, the Bulldogs getting a, a piggyback down to the under, end of the field here. And so, to ref sorry, Kev, just to reference a little bit of Seinfeld, this is basically Bizarro World for the Titans. So, as you saw there in the first game, they were well disciplined. They basically kept it. The Bulldogs right 20 metres. They couldn't get past the 20 metres in their own half. And now you look at it, they've already given away a penalty, and this is what's really costing them. They've basically piggybacked them for a full set of six right inside their own half of field. So now being played by Ethan Duncan. So this is Brock Parker, the Cross Harbour Commerce representative. Just shy of the 10 metre line. They'll be looking to double their lead in as many minutes. And I could see the, there's numbers on the right. And that's, that's there we go, right in the corner there. I think that could have been James Munro. No, that was Jackson O'Connor. Jackson O'Connor, yeah, O'Connor James the other on this winger. Yep, yep. Yeah, so. but that, was, that was too easy for the, for the Bulldogs. This is, this is a complete uh, reversal of the last game. He could have had a cup of tea and a lie down and still would have scored there for me. That just looked well too easy in the corner. So that's, the, oh, sorry. That's now making the score 10-0. Sorry, Kev. No, no need to apologise. Yeah, it, was, uh, it was too easy. They, they had numbers galore. So the goal kicker, the goal kicker for the North Coast Bulldogs is, looks like they've got co-captains. Kane Parkinson, who, who is the goal kicker, number four, and uh, Ulysses Roberts, who scored the first try. We've got co-captains, but this guy... He got the last kick, so I'm backing him to get this one because it, it was pretty much from a very similar sort of area. This is a bit a bit harder of a kick. But yeah, 10-0 with this kick to come and I'd say we'd be five minutes, maybe six minutes into the game. So Jackson O'Connor, of course, he represents Old Bar in the Group 3 competition. Played off the bench last week. Came off, off the bench, so he's starting today. There's, as we just see the kick, and oh, looks wow. good. What a great kick! He can kick him. 12 0 now to the Bulldogs over the Titans. You have a look at him actually as he runs over here. This is under 18s. He, he looks like he could almost pass for a 20 year old. I won't, I won't say that to his face, but great goal kicking there from Kane Parkinson. 12 0 now. And of course, Jackson O'Connor, he represented the the North Coast in last year at Andrew Jones Cup level. We're back live now. So, as, as I was about to mention with the teams being read out, Kev, both teams, I dare say, have done this. And the Titans, they've actually been doing mass changes to their teams the last three weeks. I guess they've just gone for broke now. But there's no less than, I can see here, about five changes from last week's squad. So you've got pa Rocco Partridge, Joel Antonelli playing his first game. Simon Pratt, who didn't play last week. Kian roberts Laurie making his first feature as well. They they had the likes of Jarvis Kendall, Nelson Ewing, Harrison Bell, and Oliver Lindsay. But there's a bit of a Tweed Coast connection amongst the team that were out last week. So you think this is basically just going for broke and just seeing what works? Well, you got to mix it up if you're losing, especially in a in a five round competition. Mate, you got to really uh, you can only really afford to lose one game. You got to hit your straps straight away. And of course, as I mentioned, both, it's, it's the case for both teams. North Coast Bulldog have made about four or five changes themselves. The likes of Eli Clark, Miles Matano, who had impressive games last week. Oh, oh was that a Falcon? No, it wasn't a Falcon, actually. Uh, I missed that. The fullback, Thomas Vickery, he let it bounce. It uh, almost felt like it bounced right on his head, then it went uh, out. But I think if he had it caught it, he would have been uh, taken straight over the sidelines. So that was a tricky one. So I named he wouldn't want to be a fullback. Sorry, Kev. A name that pops out for me is, I think he's making his first campaign in this one, Max Shaw. He, uh, he scored nine tries for Cross Harbour last year in the 18th competition, including, and I know, I, I don't want to say that too late because we're in Grafton, but he scored five tries against South, five tries against the two Grafton teams, three against South Grafton and two against Grafton. I guess the three tries I don't really mind against South Grafton, but um, he also represented the Laurie Daly Cup last year and also represented under 14s and 15s in Group 2. But yeah, the mass changes I can see there. So they're really taking it up a notch as, as well as the Titans as well. I guess, as you can see there, Jordan Tawali. I remember him from last year. Yeah, I remember him. He wasn't small, was he? No, he's a, he's a he, big boy. He looks actually a bit fitter this year than last year. But yep. yeah, but he, he, where he runs on a tram line, he just want to move out of the way. <laughs> so let's see what the Northern Rivers can do. They can try and get themselves back into this one. They've conceded two tries early. Well, just so they've barely had the ball this game so far, so this is a good opportunity for them. Of course, he just joined us. It was 50 points to know. Another massive win for the Northern Rivers Titans, Andrew John's Cup squad. They've basically got one foot in the door for finals now. 
they so they won't have to rely on any nervous penalty field goals to, to get it the ticket this time. They you'd think they'd almost be one win away from booking a, a spot for the semi finals this year, Kev. Well they're looking good now the uh, the Rivers. They just had a strong hit up from Pratt and then Chuali and and this is uh, nice run by Chuali. So this is gonna now be Jonah Whitlam Rose who I mentioned signed up from Wollongbar this year. This is Simon Pratt gets off to Tuali. Nice they're well positioned here the Titans they they can get a try in the first half. Some of the oh. could back, and there's that numbers on the left. Hey, not, Vickery. That's no, Thomas Vickery. Yeah, he's no good. He's giving it back to Vickery. Has it Vic again now. Vickery wants it back. Now this will be his Moreland by Mustangs teammate Jonah Whitlam Rose into the hands of Atali. Kick across the carpet here. It's going. I think that could be Max Shaw. I just mentioned. Well, def oh, that took some good Great work, Max Shaw. That took some great attacking prowess to get out of that one because he was in the dead ball for all money. He had three bucks on him then and he had to get out and he got out. It was a great effort. So deep inside of their own half and they've given away a costly penalty. This will be piggyback stuff now for the Bulldogs. Yeah, they've been undisciplined so far this Riverside, but it's early days. They're 35 minute halves in the uh, Lowry Daily Cup. Andrew Johns is, was half an hour at halves. This would be a nice bang right above my microphone. On point, Kev, on point. Just like if we've got a roof over our heads today in more ways than one, eh? Otherwise that would have been a fountain. We'd be probably a bit wet with all this rain, but we see the, sun, the sun's out now, so hopefully it disperses for the, for the rest of the rest of the afternoon. Strong run again there from uh, Parker. Brock Parker, the and, number 10. And Kev, you are saying to be off air before this, and considering some of the, like, I think this is the first game of football of any kind that we've had out of Grafton this year, um, how amazing, how great and luscious this ground. It looks like we're in New Zealand. This is, this is an beautiful field. This field is perfect. And it is the beginning of the season. They're not usually chopped up and at the beginning of March, but, yeah, it's a great-looking field. And, as I said, we haven't really had a lot of rain, like, except for the last week or so. Of course, we had the, the, the remnants of Cyclone Omar. Here's Brock Parker with his fourth or fifth hit up of the game so far. Into the hands. I think that's Max Shaw. There's two Must on score. one. Must He's score. in. That's Kane Parker, the captain. Captain's run there by Kane Parker. Gets himself on the score sheet, thus making it now 16-0. Yeah, Parkinson it is. He's uh, quite the talent. He's already Kane Parkinson. He's put two goals over. I'm backing him to get this one from the sideline. You have a look at him. He... he He's, he's got the build of a 23-year-old or something. He doesn't look like... I'm not saying that he's overage, but he's definitely a, a mature footballer. So Kane Parkinson, he's also the goal kicker for the team. He's, yeah, he's two from two. two. Two from two against the Eels. Two, two from two from the when he played against the Eels two weeks ago. Three from seven against the Central Coast last week. He's represented Group 2 at 15s and 16s level. He's also a Laurie Daly Cup rep from last year, kicking 11 goals in last year's competition. He's also represented the he's also a junior of the Smithtown Tigers in last year's camp and in last year's campaign for Mackay Valley in group two three tries 20 goals and including a field goal two tries against Foster Tunk as well Kev he, he found the line pretty easily then he never looked like he didn't need his support but if, if he did he had it so they put these tries on pretty easily the Bulldogs and this looks like it could be a uh, bit of a fun thing it's so, headed that way anyway. The kick, it's got the distance. Can't mm. quite just tuck it into the right, thus now making it still 16 there. Yeah, he missed that by about 17 centimetres to the left, unfortunately. And as I was about to mention before that try happened, how great this ground is. Um, we we'll try not to promote cross code as much as we can, but I, as we're talking more of it on an agriculture scale. I was watching the Brumbies, the, um, who are they playing? They say in the Super 15, they were saying the Hurricanes are. Um, North Plymouth, uh, New Plymouth, and I was saying how great that ground is, how lush it is being in New Zealand. But this would have to be, for me, right up there. It's a great ground considering the, considering the uh, latitude and the and the, and the weather. <laughs> we're Compared had, to New Zealand, we literally had no rain in the month of January. So, con congrats to the groundskeeper here in Grafton Ghost. We're, we're cracky, lovely ground to play at. Coming to you up next week and on Bar TV, we have four games from Crozier Oval and Lismore between the
the Northern Rivers Titans and the Central Coast Roosters. Myself and Kev Ferrugia will be there on deck to bring you all four games and across on the Bar TV platforms and across the Country Rugby League website and Facebook. And of course the North Coast Bulldogs, they will be up against the Greater Northern Tigers at Jeff King Motors Oval. Uh, so both streams will be, of course, be proudly and across the competition, the Andrew Johns and Laurie Daly Cups in the country championships with the ladies and the other 23s come back in. Be proudly sponsored by SEL World Australia and Anytime Fitness. So well, we saw a bit of uh, poor discipline there for the Rivers and he couldn't even find touch. So it didn't, didn't end up working out to be so bad for him. But they're actually on the attack now, the Rivers. It's 18-0. They need 16, something. Sorry, 16. Oh, 16. Sorry, that's right, yeah. It looked good, but... Yeah, yeah that's right. But they, they need something, the Rivers. So this is Jordan Tawali taking it up. The meter eater getting it 30 metres away from the Bulldogs line. This is a nice run by Simon Pratt. One of the representatives from the country, uh, country representatives in the under-16s from last season. Of course, they went on to have mixed... I think they... I'm not sure they had if it was the 18s or the 16s, but they, they beat Papua New Guinea in Lismore, but I think they beat the, the Gold Coast Titans development squad in Kujan. Nice kick across the middle, and well taken there by the Bulldogs, but I think he's just going to, he's not even going to try to get out of there. He, he'll yep. just take the tackle, line drop out now for the Titans. Thomas Vickery and Lachlan West had him wrapped up there. There was not much the uh, the winger could do there to get out. It was uh, there was James Munro, but we should, we should see... Probably the best opportunity the Rivers have had so far to put some points on the board. And I hope they do because the last thing we want is another one-sided affair. The way the score is panning, it's unfortunately looking that way, Kev. If you, if, no matter who you're supporting. That was the case last week when they played Parramatta. Anyways, there's Jonah Whitlam-Rose. He's, he's got himself, I think he's got himself a haircut there, Jonah Whitlam-Rose. I wonder how Parramatta got themselves into this competition. Um, well, good question. <laughs> but anyways, it, it's good to have him on board. No well, the, more, the more the merrier. Any, any expansion is good expansion in my book. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they certainly look impressive to me as a whole. It's good to see him on board. But I mean, being a Parramatta boy yourself, Kev, you, you definitely you know have a. I'm happy. To, I'm happy to see. I just yeah. I'm surprised that a team from the city yeah. managed to weasel their worm their so, way into sorry, the. Kev, that's Whitlam Rose. Gets it off to Vickery. He's new Wollongong Mustangs teammate. He's impressed me when I watched him play at club level during the final series last year, Kev. Vickery? Yes. Oh, he's an awesome player. This is Tuali. Uh, drops it. If, and, oh, nicely collected there by Max Shaw. I think Thomas Vickery's got an older brother too. That goes all right. And I think he's just lost it. So Another Tot opportunity. Titans are off the hook here. Another opportunity here for uh, the Rivers. And let's, let's hope they can take this one with both hands. Yeah, so Jonah Whitlam Rose, I noticed, because I noticed him for his um, great attacking play. I'm sorry, I can, he's easy to point out. I think he's had a haircut there, Kev. Yeah, what are, they, what are those haircuts called? Yeah. It looks like, you look like someone at, I see at, my, at the concerts I go to. I wonder, you're, uh, you're heavy metal, no, yeah, I wonder, a, I, I wonder, if, like he's, I wonder if he's a Metallic and Parkway Drive fan. We'll probably ask him after the game. I might see him at a concert. Anyways, back to live action. That's Joel Antelli. This is Antonelli. It's his first game of the campaign. Gets it to Liam Robinson. Antonelli, that would have to be an Italian name, I would guess. So this would be Whitlam Rose. Gets it out now to the... And oh, he's well brought down in the tackle. Great tackle from Third Parker. Base, out. This is Whitlam Rose. He's always looking for work. Whit Whit Whitlam Rose. This is Ethan Foster. They'll, they'll score, I reckon. they bring it right. He plays his football oh. just up the road here at Lower Clarence. He's coughed it up. Ball back to the Bulldogs. So, Ethan Foster, keep an eye out for him. When, he's part, I could be wrong here, but I think he was part of that campaign where the, the lower Clarence Magpies, they played well deep into the finals from, yeah, I think it, from third or fourth. Him and uh, Cooper Many. Exactly right. Both in that team. And then, and like we caught, that's right, we called a game against them, against the Tweed Coast up at, was it, Kudjan. Yeah. And um, I, I remember saying in that game that, well, you've got to remember that, and we know it today because we're travelling from that part of the world, from Byron and Tweed, respectively, and coming to Grafton, how draining the travel was. And so they were playing as the away team. I think they had to go play a campaign against Warmbart and Kudjan, then back at Tweed Coast. There was three upsets went, in a row. And they won three in a row. Yeah, they, 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 the it, was, it was a great job. Three, three Saturday, Sundays in a row. So I hope they'll only be better for it this year going into this year's competition. Do I think they'll also be stronger in the... Uh, in the first grade and reserve Correct. grade. Correct. 
it's going to be a, a stronger competition this yeah, year. Yeah, triple RL. We've got, we've got Jamie Lyon is, is captain Jay. coach of Ballina. We've got Todd Carney, captain coach of Byron. Byron. Uh, Brent Kite's back to coach another year at the Tweed Coast Raiders. Got a lot of these uh, players from the NRL coming back and, and, and just having a bit of fun. In and the, Todd, uh, of course, Todd Carney, he still could pick up an NRL club oh, in today's I, game. I think personally that Jamie Lyon will... Uh, well, he's only 36 or something. He'll, he'll, be, very hard, he'll be very hard to play against. So, big, big things happening in country rugby league this year. Jamie but, Lyon is potentially the best centre 5'8 we've seen this century. Of course. I think he is. I, no, not many people going to um, say you're wrong there, Kev. As we can see now, that's going to be Lachlan West from Casino. Nice run to get it inside the half field. There is a player down for the Titans in back play. Oh. And that was... Liam fundamental area, and yeah, a, that's a fundamental a area. Down there for yeah, the centre five eight position, it's it's not as common as it used to be. There used to be uh, we had Greg Florimo and Brad Fittler. Yep. Since then, you've had uh, Greg Inglis, but Greg Inglis is more of a fullback. And there's a player down there. now. Forgive me, the number twenty for Titans. That's not actually on our team. Too. No, we don't have the name for uh, the number twenty, but we'll we hope he gets up. Yeah, he looks like he's done. A, I think he's had a bit of a knock. Uh, he's uh, he's all right. He's winded. I think he's winded. Judging by the uh, little stretch that they're doing over there. Of course, we're we're coming to you live here from Frank McGowan's Field and Grafton Ghosts. Grafton, of course, went on to be back-to-back -back minor premiers in A grade. Though it was a bit of a topsy-turvy final series. Uh, they went out in straight sets, uh, which. In the in Triple RL, that's only I think ever happened once to memory. But they went out in straight sets to I believe it was Cos Harbour and then Maxfield from fourth place. I think wow. sorry, Maxfield was fifth place. You got to be aware of the team that comes from the uh, elimination games. They're always dangerous. Anyway, the Bulldogs have got the ball here. Yeah, of course they, they went down to 19 points to 12 in a prelim final against Maxfield, and then Cos Harbour went on to win Group Two. Cos Harbour last last year. As we come back now to live action, this is now going to be Lachlan Williams. Takes it on the halfway line. Titans can't ill afford to have another one go over before first half. 16, so is it now 16 points? Still 16 now. nil yet. Once, once you start getting the two in front of the score there, it's going to be oh. going to be hard to come back from. Monstering defence there from Liam Robinson. So this will... I think this oh. is Blake Howe from Cross Harbour. He takes that hit up. Sorry, that's Blake Howe there on his left-hand side there. This will now be Max Shaw into the hands of Jordan good, Moore. Good take from Jordan Moore. He's been strong on this left side. So 10 metres out, fifth and last. They're playing for the left, cheeky left side, playing in the corner. Does he get over? He does. No. Oh, no. Up, Kev. I'll tell you what. You only just been a little touch of paint to beat him, though, Kev. I reckon he's sure of that. In all fairness, where like we've got a couple, of we got we got a few poles in front of us. We got a few poles in front of us to but, see, Kev. So uh, yeah, I would have. Uh, uh, there had a actually, I'm glad he didn't score. That might have put put the wind out of the uh, the, the rivers. But yeah, though it's always hard to yeah, tell. The linesman was right there, and I'm not big on arguing with referees. Yeah, and um, especially when they're uh, no only two meters away from the incident. No doubt, he had the better view than anyone. It's his opinion that counts at the end of the day. So. As we, we play on 10 metres inside their own half of field. Nice and brought down the tackle. I think that's Max Shaw playing impressive game in attack and defence. Northern Rivers is going to score now. And another penalty uh, offside. Did look look like that from where we were. Yeah, they've been a bit, uh, done it a couple of times, both teams. So. Only been called for it once each. But here we see the Rivers now. We've got the, the tap on the halfway. Down 16 points. Probably just less than 10 till half time. Yeah, this will be Lachlan Huller down to play. Another one of the players that has been given a start in today's game. He's he coming off the bench from last week. It's actually no less than about five or six players that who are on the who are on the, off the bench or just coming to this team are featured in the starting lineup for the Titans. So they've really gone for broke here, the Titans. So far it's not really going their way. They're looking a bit more promising in attack at very least. This is Simon Pratt. He'll be doing big things for the Casino Cougars this year in the Triple RL. Across the hand. Oh, that looked a little... I saw his head rock back. Referee said knocked on. That looked ah, a little yeah. bit high for me. I think he sort of fell into it. 
No, I think... Uh, yeah, it was about 50-50. Young Brock Parker, the number 10 for uh, North Coast Bulldogs, has just about been their best player in both attack and defence. And he didn't miss him there. Though, so, I was just going to say, Kev, with all the tries coming on this way, at least my Kia Serato in the right-hand corner there is right. safe. Safe from any kicks downfield, at least. Well, that's Might right. not be the case in the second half if this keeps going. No, that's true. Yeah, we're backing on. We're right on the uh, the Grafton race course. Yeah, right. oh, just over the, the road there. Just over the road there. As we play now, the Bulldogs are um, 10 metres out inside their own half of field. That's Simon Pratt there in the tackle. Along the hands. And now, nice tackle there by Liam Robinson, Tweed, Tweedhead Seagulls representative. They're just gradually getting up the field there, just... Not with really any urgency for me, but now that they've, they've spread out. Nice tackle there by Joel Antonelli. Fifth and last, well done by the Titans to keep inside their own half of field. And kick across the carpet there. It's I think this is going to be Thomas Vickery to collect. Yeah, good pick up by Vickery. Probably not the, the kick that he wanted to get away there. Nice tackle, nicely brought down there by Jordan Moore. Just nice making him work to have to get back up to play it. I think he nearly got himself a penalty there. Yeah. So this is Brock Parker in the tackle. Whitman Rose though. They're a little bit bunched up in the centre for me. And Titans there let off the hook. Yeah, they're just, uh, the markers are just playing around there. Wouldn't let him play the ball in peace. And this, so, they, need, they need points here. The, the Rivers is uh, getting to a point where it's do or die, even though it's only the first so time. So this is perfect opportunity. A full set of six right on the Bulldogs 30 metre line. You won't get better chances than this. So this will be Keon Robert Slow, who's just signed up for the Byron Bay Red Devils just I think the last week or two from Ballina. He's he's a big he was a big campaigner for the Ballina Seagulls. He basically play, played across all grades in the 18s and A grade. He was a Byron Bay junior beforehand, but now he's he's come back home. He'll be under the guidance of you mentioned Todd Carney's now playing for the, for the captain coach for the Byron Bay Red Devils. I'm pretty sure too that Robert Slurry was in the Andrew Johns Cup side last Correct. year and, and one of their best players. Correct. So it's good to see him on the field. He he, he didn't he didn't start last year either, but he, he will probably spend the most of the, the game on. Very, he's an absolute very handy player. In, in defence and attack. And then He and just pulled off a hit then. He just pulled off a hit and the bloke lost the ball. So that's just an example. So Titans again will have another set of six inside the Bulldogs half courtesy of drop ball there five minutes of change in the first half that's nine minutes sorry nine minutes of change 16 nil to the Bulldogs over the Titans as Kev mentioned a couple of players back they need to score and score quickly let's see what Good run there from uh, Lachlan Hallard. Lachlan Hallard. With them Rose. Off the scrum. Into the hands of, that's Timothy Johansson. That, yeah, that It'd have, to, have to be his brother, I'd say. Brother. How many Johansons are there? If there anyone from the <laughs> Johansson family is watching online, leave a comment and see all, if... Although, this, all, all, although uh, his little brother is bigger than him. <laughs> although that does happen. It does, it does happen. happen. It does happen. I've got an older brother and we're probably about the same, so... Yeah, well, uh, Nathan Highmarsh, was, he was bigger than Ian Highmarsh, wasn't he? That's a bit of trivia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, right, that one cleared the roof. Nice. No, but I'm, no, I'm, I'm still, we're same, me and my brother's same height, but I think he's probably got me on mass, so. I think the best example is uh, Sean Penn and Chris Penn. Well, there you go. Well, what about the Baldwin brothers? Oh, that's, uh, 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 yeah, there's an even better one. Anyway, back to the footy. Back to the footy. <laughs> He's been strong down this nice, left side all nice day. Nice hard run. Jordan Moore. Nicely tackled there by Zach Mateo. And Whitland Rose was, sorry, that was um, Keon roberts Lurie in the tackle as well. That's a nice hit up there by Brock Parker from Coss Harbour. He's Port been a workhorse. They haven't, um, they haven't used many interchanges, this Bulldog side, if any. Yeah, so, oh, nice little pass inside field. I think this is Max Shaw with it. Gets it off the head. Right. One to beat. He's right. over. Nice try there for the Bulldogs. And you can see the players down for the Titans. They know that was going to be one that cost them. Well, I reckon that is an interchange that just came on. Who scored that try? 
And I can't see exactly who it is. I think it's... Uh, Bulldogs up 20 to nil. I'm going to have a guess and say it's the 14. Ivan Madden. But great, yeah, great hands there. Yeah, 20 nil with a kick to come. And uh, about five or six minutes till half time. It's, it's pretty much a replica of the game we saw beforehand. Bizarro well kept. Bizarro yeah, well. It is. Bizarro well, Jerry. Bizarro well. <laughs> And so Ivan Madden, I, he was actually a player I had my eye on when I was um, watching a bit of video coming into this week. This lad impressed me, Ivan Madden, and scored himself. I'll just get the profile up on Ivan Madden. He'd represented under 14s and 15s level for Group 2. In, in the 14s campaign, he scored two tries against Group 19, and in the 50s, 15s campaign, scored one try against Group 21. He scored 11 tries for his club for Kempsey as the kick goes over. Yeah, great kick there by Kane Parkinson. Well, I'm not sure what position uh, he's come on. But I think he's come on and replaced the hooker, Madden. I think he's playing dummy half. That's, well, that's that's correct. Well, he actually played. He was actually started at nine last week. So. Well, then yeah, yeah, he's definitely standing in the number nine spot there for the kickoff. He's also an ex Maclay Valley junior as well. Sun's shining bright now, isn't it? The uh, moisture be coming out of the ground. Don't adjust your sets. We're at Grafton, not um, Amy Park in Melbourne. <laughs> so we're going back live now. Oh, it's not a crunching tackle by Liam Robinson. That was a great he hit. Ran into a brick wall. I'll say that's the best tackle of the day so far. And. <laughs> And he responded back in the second phase of play too. What a hit. What a nice tackle there by Liam Robinson. Simon Pratt there replicates. Madden definitely working the uh, dummy half here. Gives it on to his workhorse forward, Parker. Going again. Look at Whitlam Max, Rose. Good, look, oh, you keep going, mate. Look That's at Whitlam right. Rose. Always oh, what a ball. Whitlam Rose. He's still hanging on to him. He just gets a bit of a don't, don't argue there. Just like, hey, get off me. Whitlam Rose, he's... You can't play. Oh, they're looking dangerous here again. Down that right side. They you scored their first two tries down that side. You can't discourage their efforts though, the tight. Whitlam Rose, he just did not want to let go. And nicely packed there by Thomas Vickery. But great chase, great he's, tackle. He's going to be drop out. taken over the dead ball line. Yeah, that was a tough ask thing he was going to get out that time. He's running towards the corner. It's a bit hard to turn around in that corner and come out. It's a great place to... Uh, See if you can weigh the kicks down. Got a line drop out here. It's 20 nil. 20 nil, about three minutes on the clock. One a try here two. to the Bulldogs would it's really. Uh, Timekeeper says two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Would really put the salt in the wound. 22, 22. 22 nil. Seen two for 22. Seen too many twos there, Kev. <laughs> Richie would be rolling in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> 30 metres away from the Northern Rivers line. Yeah, like I said, uh, a try here would really uh, coach Justin Stewart for the Rivers to be just about in tears if they score here. It's you looking think? likely. They're looking dangerous here, Kev, the Bulldogs yeah. on either side. This will go through the hands of, I think that was Logan Jones. Oh, wow. And, oh. I think he's in. If he hasn't in. I think he's in. Just shy, just oh, shy no, of, the, no, of the paint there. So this is, I think that's Sam Burns. Yeah, that's the 5 -8. That's Roberts, and there's, if he doesn't go over, they've, they've just got over there. Good scrambling defence. No, he's How well defended by the Good Titans. Work, Rivers. I thought they were in for all money. I was about to say, if he doesn't score, then Jackson O'Connor will. But no, good defence there by the they, Titans. They cannot afford another try here, the Rivers, at all. Half time this, couldn't come quicker. So this is the fifth and last. They fought about the kick. Back on the fought, short no, side. He's in. short side. Wow. It's split him up the middle. Madden. Madden scored Madden's two. Madden's medal for a double. Bang, bang. Two two tries for Madden and 28 nils to score. Sorry, 26 nil. Just shot the kick both barrels there, Madden. Yeah, I think he'll get this kick. So 28 nil at half time. Whoa, that's not good. What do you say to your troops? You, you tell them that... Uh, you're telling them that the competition's not over and that there's, there's two weeks to go. And the 16s might want to have an encore. That's probably their only best bet, Kev. 
Well, that's right. If you can, you can be down. If you can be down twenty-eight nil, you can you can turn it around and it can be twenty-eight all at the end of full time. Maybe it's, it's it's not really a strong wind. There is no real advantage to which way you're running here, though. So. Well, well, it certainly wasn't the wind we had last week up up this neck of the woods. Oh, it's just very windy conditions. Was it cyclone uh, Omaha. fields of Omaha? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if he misses this, I'll, uh, I'll do it. Don't a, say eat my hat. Oh, I'll say a nude run. Because, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he, no, because... Because he, he ended up getting them, didn't he, after that? Or? He did. I'm going to bring a knife and fork to it to commentary practice. <laughs> as, he, as the kick goes over, 28 points to nil. Yeah. Version was successful by Kenny Parkinson. He's now 28 points to nil. Oh, the boys have done it easy so far, the Bulldogs. Of course, when we were referring to um, the finals last year, that was um, Wade Kelly. Oh, in that game against Mullen when he yeah. went for that kick and... The halfback, I liked him. You must, been, you, must been, Kev, you must have been hungry that day if you wanted to eat you. Oh! oh! Wow. What a replicating hit by Liam Robertson! There's no doubt about it. This Liam Robinson, he can hit. You win and pick the score is 28 nil with that kind of play and with the like of Jonah Whitlam Rose and a few others, they're at least having a go out there, the Titans. They're, you can see they're frustrated. I now correct I don't wanna I hope he hasn't done his left shoulder in that hit. He's dangling that I, left I look at that left arm of Robertson. It's I, absolutely dangling down there, Kev. I hope he hasn't hurt himself. I think he has. I think he's done his shoulder, Kev. It, I'll tell you what, our, our old mate Parker, he's looking for another run right now. He's so. absolutely he, it was a he, big he collision. Saw. He's absolutely saw there. That's Could the, you blame him that's, though? That's the problem with those front on tackles. If you, that was like click, click, bang yeah. into the into the chest there of the, the North Coast player there. That was just a monster of a hit. He's all right though. Look at him now. He just needs. He just needed. I a bit think. Of that. I think that was a bit of bit of aftershock. We certainly felt it up here. Wow. Yes, yes, that's that's what you want off the off the off the, the, the taps and off the kickoff as a free shot. You're an idiot if you don't go for it. So it's good to see Liam Robinson going for it because we don't see enough of that these days. Well, as I said, you couldn't think at 28 0. They're at least having a go, the Titans. It's just they're playing a really impressive attacking team of the, the Bulldogs. And I think really all it is is discipline. And like, you, it's, it's chalk and cheese compared to what the Andrew Johns Cup squad came up with in the first game. They just really kept them down here, didn't give away too many penalties. And we're about to have the Hoover go off. I'll have one more last play. This is Toy Alley. He'll finish it off. And that will be all she wrote for the first half. And it is now half time here in Laurie Daly Cup action. 28 points to nil, North Coast Bulldog. Kev, who did you like out of that? Well, again, I think the, the I'll, I'll, I'll say the best half was uh, Brock Parker, the number 10 for the Bulldogs. The forwards have laid the foundations in both of these games, and, and the backs are scoring points, and everyone's scoring points and 28 nil half time good good luck and trust you join the action wherever you may be watching across the bar tv network courtesy of the country rugby league website and youtube half time here in Laurie daly cup action at frank mcgurran field in grafton it is 28 points for the north coast northern rivers titan zil we're gonna go catch up and have have some h2o both kevin myself and we'll be right back with you in about five minutes
Dwayne Neville and Kevin Ferrugia back live here at Frank McGurran's Field in prep for the second half of the Laurie Daly Cup action between the Northern Rivers Titans and the North Coast Bulldogs. The, indeed, the third match day of this great competition. So if you've just um, been plodding along um, at half time here, we've got some other scores for you from around the ground. So from Singleton, the Great Northern Tigers defeated the Parramatta Eels in Andrew Johnson. Andrew John's Cup competition, 28-14. Progress score over there, just about 27, 28 minutes in. 6-0 to the Tigers. This play gets back underway. Kev, um, it's 28 points to nil for the Bulldogs. It looks a bit, bit out of their reach at this stage, but what do they need to improve on, at least in for next week, if anything else? The Titans, I mean. The Titans, I think they probably have to improve on every aspect of their game so far. <laughs> well, in, in particular, their, their uh, defence and... and uh, they're not they're not deep enough in attack. Well, perhaps their defence we could see with the likes of Whitlam Rose and uh, who was it that done those big boppers? That was what Liam Robinson. Oh, yeah, great great defence from Liam Robinson. But but the first couple of tries that the Bulldogs picked up was just pretty pretty soft and just hands in just numbers out wide and could, as we see a good 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 bring back there by the uh, Matt Shaw by Matt Shaw the, the fullback. Yeah. So they. They're now taking on the second phase on the halfway line. The wind's starting to pick up a bit here. So paper and notes and water bottles are getting moved across the table. So this will now be, that was um, Ivan Madden. So we'll be looking for a hat trick today, Ivan Madden, to add to his resume. Nice pass there. Looking for, I think that was Jackson O'Connor in the corner. Slips over in the corner there. And now you can say thank you, good night. Yeah, it was. It was Kane Parkinson. He got outside his man and just flicked up the pass in for Jackson O'Connor. And, and that's that's all right. Good night, Irene. It's 32 new with a kick to come. We've got 34 minutes to go till, <laughs> till the end of play. The first try in the second half goes to the North And I was, and I was also watching that game against... Um, Parramatta and Northern Rivers last week, Kev, and of course it's basically been replicated today with based on the results for the Titans, I dare say, of. Um, so I mean, coming from Parramatta, I don't know if they flew, um, they didn't know if they flew back to the Northern Rivers or they had to, had to go out the Pacific Island on the bus. I could dare say, no, like, if they had to fly, it was going to be a bad flight coming back with the high winds. And they might, I think from Ballina Airport, they weren't even letting planes in, but can you imagine what the bus ride would have been like? like 11, 12 hours from Western Sydney up to, well, probably to the border, about 12 hours, a mixed bag on the bus. <laughs> oh, that would have been that would have been painful, yes, definitely. I, I hope for their sake they did fly. Yeah, well, <laughs> as someone that doesn't like flying as much as I do, I hope they didn't because it was really windy. The kick was unsuccessful there, but um, as I was making mention, um, the trips to McDonald's probably wouldn't have made it all that any more fun. There would have been a few McDonald's trips on the way back up to, up to the coast or... It would, have been, it would have been a long trip back, I suppose, if they had lost 40 minutes. Well, they, well I was in the reverence of the Titans was 60 minutes. Oh. Yeah, it was actually 60 now. Well, then that would have been tough. Yeah. That's play resumes now. Oh, that just clipped onto the, the knees of, I think that was Kane Parkinson. And he's met there by John Tuwali. Just crutches him into the into the surface. 30 minutes, I think it was about 30, 35 metres out from the Bulldogs line. I guess what the Rivers are looking for is uh, a couple of tries. You don't want to end, end the Something to take in the next week. And look, exactly. that, Good that's defense. John Tlaley joining into oh, the right. show, but gives away a penalty. Shoulder charge. A little bit, might have been a little bit harsh. I think he had two hands around him. but He's called it a shoulder charge. Well, the referee's got made the call at the end of the day. Yeah. I think he had both hands around him and didn't kind of just maybe drew him in with the shoulder. But nevertheless... Yeah, it's a funny rule, though. When I, I'm yet to 100% know what, what you can and can't do. At the end of the day, the referee had a better better sight than us, so that's all, all she wrote. We play on. But this is a, another big opportunity for the North Coast Bulldogs to to go in and to really assert their dominance. All of a sudden, be in the late thirties. This will be Ivan Madden now plays it, gets it into the hands of oh no Parker. That's Parker. That's Parker. He's Sorry, that's Liam sure. Robinson again. Yeah, he was lining up his mate Parker. Wow. I don't think he can hurt Parker though. He'll still do another hit up next set at six. Though it's, it's just not really putting a dent in the Bulldogs' defence. They go that left side. They might even get in. He's just driven over. Well done in defence to 
Well, that was a bit ambitious. I don't think he was working with too much room, and they definitely had numbers there, the the, uh, the Titans. Looks like uh, the Titans are going to bring on some uh, some replacements. Anything. Anything just to, just to get some uh, positive positive vibes on the field and hopefully some points on the board. So, we're at, so the Titans are going to have this 10 metres out or from their own line. They're running into a stiff breeze. Nicely taken up there. Gains it itself another 15, 20. You see the girls on the other side of the field are uh, warming up. Got, and Bulldogs there give away a penalty. So let's see what the Titans can do inside the Bulldogs half a field. They'll have to kick into a stiff breeze, so the kick might not even get that far. Uh, yeah, as you mentioned, there is actually a trial game for the, for the ladies' tackle between these two teams. Is it, is it tackle or Oz tag? Yeah, it's actually tackle. That's the tackle. It's tackle this year. Goodness. And of course... So this is only a trial game following this one, but they play the competition commences next week in the ladies, and of course the under 23s as well. So there'll be four games across each match day in the country championships across the board. And so that'll be tackle the ladies. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. So I didn't know that. It'll be good to see. It's good to see the game evolve. It's definitely evolving. That's for sure. It's come a long way well, last many, couple of years. Many ways and why. That's Antonelli. So, you'll opt for it. They're not going to opt for a right side play, but oh, that's interesting. I've gone left, going to the hands of Vickery. Oh, he's, he's, he's lost it. Lost that. You know, Zachary Hicks is on the field, the number 14 for the for the Titans. He'll play uh, dummy half, no doubt. So, that was a bit sloppy there, unfortunately, and the uh, Bulldogs. I don't even think the Bulldogs were, were panicked. Were panicking then at all. It's, it looks a bit slow out there at the moment. You think they've, they've done enough, they can then, they'll go and they'll play a home game. They've been, so, even in the Bulldogs, the Bull Cup, this is the Titans' first official home game, per se, and the Bulldogs have had one already at Foster Tun Curry. So if you're a Group 2 player, they'll be loving to get back on, on home turf next week, because they'll be at Cross Harbour next week. But, but whilst the, whilst the, the Titans, they've had to travel to Foster Tongue Carry, then back Parramatta. down to Parramatta. So, travels lagged a bit, but they'll, they'll be back They'll be back on home turf in Lismore, more of an NRRL setup. As I mentioned, though, this is very much Group 2 territory for these, for these lads out here. So, it's technically a North Coast home game, as you were saying yep. as well. Great run there from Parkinson. And prior to that was Ivan Madden. They're getting through a lot of work. These, uh, uh, I, say that. I think they might have been a bit of a commentator's curse there, Kevin. Your bar just lost that one. It was a clean drop, wasn't it? Ah, well. You can't win them all. So, Titans, at least take something in the next week against the Central Coast Roosters next week in Lismore. We'll be there, Kev. Big marathon, four games. So, do you know the order of those games? So, it'll be the same at like 16s and 18s. Like Andrew John's Laurie Day Cup, then will be the ladies yep. tackle, and then under 23 is the close, close up shop. And, and of course, you'll see it all here on Bar TV Sports uh, across the live streams. And of course, proudly sponsored by SEL World Australia and Anytime Fitness. Yes, Anytime Fitness, what a great gym. That's where I got myself back into shape. And uh, I'm still feeling might the benefits get, of it. I have to give him a shot myself. I, bet I haven't <laughs> left the osteo table in the off season. Go being clicked back in the gear. <laughs> when you when I just had a birthday the other day, you know, I'm feeling yeah. physical age. So heard you might, have to, might have to give him a go, Kev. What do you reckon? Yeah, why not? Why yeah. not? Just don't exert yourself too hard. Yeah. As we see there, penalty given to the Titans. A fresh set of six, about ten meters away from their own line. see what they can do from this. So I believe this is going to be now... Uh, Robert, Robert Slory looks like he's about to get a run. So this is now going into the hands of that Simon Pratt from Casino. He hasn't had a bad game this afternoon. And if he, can repli if he can replicate the good form of the last year, he'll be off to England at, at the end of um, the the end of season trip they've gone to England this year the 16 and 18 countryside Kev yeah that's um, so that's a representative team correct. that is selected from all the teams that's correct across the whole uh, competition if he can replicate that he'll, he'll be playing on a bit of a tour in the UK which is a great incentive for these players 
They certainly aren't. They're playing doing the hard travel, paying off at the start of the preseason, and of course for their clubs in during the season. So that's good a big opportunity. Good incentive for these players. There's a kick go goes up, yeah. nicely taken. Oh, one on one strip for FIFA the Knights. That was well taken by Lachlan West. As he goes himself, he's got one to beat on the right side. And he's just going to be brought down there by Joel Antonelli. Well, great skill showing there to, to end up with it's the ball. Still at six and seven in the defence, but that's Has given away a penalty. Has to Had it. to do it. Yeah. I'm surprised they might, the referee might not have marched someone for ten there. They were at six and seven, caught way off garden. That was great skills from Lachlan West to, to end up with the ball and then to, to get he beat about three players. Great Looked take. like he might have been taken into touch or tripped James over. James Munro, I think that, that was his opposite winger. I couldn't make out the yeah. number, but that was his opposite winger. That was a it was. fifth of the night kind of take there. So that was played there by Logan Jones. Gets it up to... Yeah, well, mate Parker. 20 metres out. <laughs> set deep on the right side. Every team needs 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 good forwards. Exactly. And like there's, Ke there's Keon <laughs> roberts Larry and, and, and try scorers. Nash Atkins. Into the hands, I believe that's Lachlan Williams from Old Bar. Just shy, 10 metres out. Yeah, he's a good runner with the ball. Third phase of play. This is going to be Max Shaw from Dummy Half. Gets it into the hands, I think that's... That's was, Madden. Uh, Ivan Madden. Just shy of the line. Fourth phase, Max Shaw to play from Dummy Half. They'll score out left here, I reckon. They're set deep. Oh, right, nice oh too easy. Dummy there. I think it was Sam Burns. No, no knock on. Knock on. Oh. Was that Sam Burns there, Kev? I couldn't quite make that out. It was the 5-8. Uh, five eight, so Nash, five eight being Nash Atkins. Nash Atkins, I think. But he uh, just as he went to ground it, they pulled, pulled his shoulder, his collar, and he dropped it there. <coughs> Still, I'm sure that these teammates were forgiven. He, to, he wasn't far off, it. and the Rivers lived to fight another day. <laughs> so this will be Joel Antonelli to play from 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 half. Is Robert Slurry getting in, doing a bit of work? Keon Robert Slurry. Good pick up for the Byron Bay Red Devils for this season. He can play range of positions as well as a, in a range of teams as well. So Strong run by Robinson there. His name pops up in the 18s reserve grade and as well as the A grade team when, when I was calling the, the final series. As I said, yeah, that, yeah. that's John Cialli. I think that's going to be knocked out. I don't think he'll be playing much 18s, uh, Robert Slurry, somehow yeah, at, the, at the Red Devils. He'll be a first grade. A grade. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, what I was, I was going to say when I was doing that, when I was calling Bowen's finals games last year for the NRRL, his name was always popping up on the team sheet. So yeah. he's always looking for game time, too. So this is now going to be Lachlan Williams. He's good, he's good in his feet, Lachlan Williams. He's been pretty quiet today, but I, I think that's only because he hasn't needed to to exert himself into the match too much. So this will be played by Ivan Madden. Oh, it's almost hands. forward. That's Sam Burns from Tare. Tare City Bulls, if I'm correct. Tare City Bulls, I like the sounds of that. This Here is he is Lachlan again, Williams. Williams. Always looking for work, Lachlan Williams. Who gets I think he, he's yet to score a try. He, he's, he needs one, he wants one. So 10 metres out. This is now going to be played by Ivan Madden. Cross field. That's in the hands of Max Shaw. Two on one. If they if they can get it quick enough, they might be able to get something in the corner. But no, he's just held up fifth and last. Ryan Long, that is, just brought down over there. They don't look like they're playing with really any ur urgency there. I guess it's crossfield kick. The lead they got, they don't need to. And that's oh, popped, yeah. popped into the hands of Jackson O'Connor. Early Christmas present for Jackson O'Connor. Put the bow, wrap it up, and put the the top, nice little bow. Bust out the cherries. It's Christmas time for Jackson O'Connor because that's a double. Um, all, all that's missing is the Christmas carols, Kev. No, that, that was that was uh, that was a great try. I just realised before I was giving Lachlan West a rap. That wasn't Lachlan West. It would have been that uh, James Munro. <laughs> it would have been James Munro. So uh, yeah. That happened. Thirty-six nil now for the North Coast Bulldogs over the Northern Rivers Titans. We get a new goal kicker for this one. Looks like uh, Logan Jones is going to have a crack at it. Logan Jones. So I'd say Kane Parkinson's going off the field. Filled it a day. He had a good day. Good, good, good day in the office. Was it thirty-six so, nil with a so kick? So Logan coming? Jones, uh, wow. as you can see there, he's about to take the kick. He uh, he featured on the strike sheets as well last week against Central Coast. He's represented 14s and 15s for Group 2. He's represented... He was one of the Andrew Johns Cup graduates from last week. Sorry, last year, I dare say. Oh, really? 
scored a try against the Rivers last, last year as well as Greater Northern Tigers. And he scored a massive 19 tries for Barraville. Well, in that case, I'll back him to get this kick if he, if he likes scoring all these points. I think he, I think he can Those get another tries, two here. But I can say he's an impressive goal kicker too. He's impressed me today, Logan Jones. Keep an eye for him in the next year or two. Well, the referee was looking at you to, to uh, be a bit quiet there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he's missed it by, he's missed it by a mile. <laughs> Well, the, the referees that they do pretty well in this competition. It's, they do. They, it's they filled with well, up-and-coming refs. So, as well as the development of the players, they, they also develop the refs as well. And, and hats off to them. They've done really well in this competition, as well as last year too. Yeah. As play restarts. They're going for a little bit of a short kickoff. Looked like it was a bad short kickoff. The wind sort of certainly pushed it. Oh, wow. there we go. We should strap ourselves in every time for that first play, Kev, because Liam, Ro is that Liam Robinson again? Liam Robinson, yeah, definitely. He's always doing that on the first right. hit up, Liam right. Robinson. If, it, if anyone's got their black book there from the Gold Coast Titans right. that they want to see someone for the defence, you're looking at him. It's good to see somebody actually knows that the, the free shot in rugby league is when, when someone does a tap or off the kickoff. So we better strap ourselves in on the next kickoff, Kev, because he's always, his, his shoulder looks okay from where I was. He's just running straight at him. He's not even using his shoulders. He's having a go, Liam Robinson. Awesome. That's the way to tackle. He's been my player for the day. Here he goes again. Right. He goes, makes a good right. round the legs. See, oh, what do they teach in the juniors? Keep him round the legs. Yeah, it's off the kickoff that he goes up high. Yeah. So there's a smack shot. Passes in that looked a little oh, line ball there, but they're going, opting to go for the, Oh, he's just going to be brought down. He's done well to stay inside field, though. I believe that would have that's been... James Munro. That's James the, Munro. That's the bloke who, who did some great work before and I, I accidentally gave the other bloke a rap, but it's James Munro. Kick across field, and Titans will have to do well to get out of this one. They do so. They get it right 10 metres in, just about maybe a few metres inside field. Nicely run up. There's about well, three players there bringing him down. Yeah, that's about what twenty, about just shy of twenty meters off the Titans line, and penalty Ooh, the other way. We haven't seen much of that today. We normally right. see it a bit in, we a bit in the local footy where you see a lot of attacking penalties go, go the other way. That's probably the first one across both games today, but nevertheless a costly one for the Titans. He didn't play the ball properly. That's what that was for. He played the ball between his legs. It's it's an unforgivable error. Foot. Unforgivable. It's almost like kicking for touch, and not finding touch. Anyway, they'll probably go in again here, the Bulldogs. Stranger things have happened. Yeah, nicely run up there, 10 metres out. I reckon Jackson O'Connor's got about to, about to bring up his perked third. Up. Sorry, Kev, they're perked up on that right side. They really, really want to put this one to bed now. That we'll go, Williams wants it. A 70 minute in. effort, there's Williams. He got it. Over he goes. He was always going to get a try. Lockie Williams, take right. a bow, son. What a try out to the court up there, so that makes it. He had the first hit run off the kickoff today in the second half, Lachlan Williams, and I thought, where was this bloke in the first half? And uh, he's been everywhere in the second half. He's actually my player to watch, Lockie Williams, going into this one. Well, he runs good angles. He's speedy, Lockie he's Williams. speedy, yep, uh, I, I like him. So he, that, yep. adds to his, that actually adds to his tally of two tries against the Central Coast last week. And when I could actually remember watching, he fended off five plays to score one of those two and off a nice assist off Ulysses Roberts. He's rep Sorry. representative 15, 16, level of group three. He's a lorry daily rep from last year too. And um, yeah, two tries. He scored both a try against the Northern Rivers and Central Coast Roosters last season. He's an excellent Raymond Terrace junior. And he also, like Simon Pratt, represented at under 16s level the country. Scored five tries for Tari last year as well. The next Wigan Tiger. So he's got a bit of a, a resume, Lockie Williams, if we could see it out there for sure. Yeah, well, he was, he was always going to score that. There's a lot to like about this uh, North Coast Bulldogs side. I, I, but we've seen this afternoon. The combinations between the uh, centres and the second row is, on both sides is dangerous. And then as you've got the, the forward, their forwards, the front rowers have worked all day. And uh, they've got the dangerous number 14 that comes on. Ivan Madden in the reserve number nine and comes on and scores a couple of tries and both wingers are extremely skillful. They could be the team to beat this North Coast Bulldogs side. So thus now making the score 42 points to nil North Coast over the Northern Rivers. 
And the six Andrew Johns Cup players from last year in this Bulldogs team, seven still remain from last year, which is, so there would have been a few 16 or 17 year olds, obviously under 18's competition. So seven players still remain from last year's competition. And they feature a massive 14 players in this in this starting lot, well, this 17 from the Group 2 competition. And the other five coming from Group 3. Five players from Coss Harbour are on this squad, Kev. Well, that, that, that says a lot for itself because it, it gives you a lot of confidence when you play up an age group. So that you feel confident the next year when you're in that age group, you feel like you've got the edge over it. Yeah. And then, of course, when you get to that age, you then you focus on the next step up from, as far as country rep is concerned is the under-23s. So um, yeah. I think I said that to you last year in a call. When we, we weren't bound to play Kudge in that grand final. There was a lot of players from that Laurie Daly squad that featured, which will then be iron for, for a, a Guernsey in the under-23 squad for the Northern Rivers. And, and that would be pretty hard to do because there's a five-year gap there. But if you in the spotlight, mention, and not to mention they're the defending champions, and the defending champions, yeah, but that's exactly right. You, but you get endless amounts of confidence. But when the first team list for the first game comes next week, we'll see how many of those Laurie Daly Cup graduates for, across the board uh, make it into the under twenty threes. Yeah, well, you, like I said, it's a five year difference, so it'd be pretty tough. But. You know, if someone's if someone's a dead set gun, yeah. you're going to pick them. Well, if you're good enough, you're good enough in my book, and we'll mm. we'll see what happens. And if it, you probably see a few names from Balno. Well, Tane Robinson was the halfback for the 23 course, side last yeah, year. Yeah, and he, he he's played, only 18. And he was in the A grade squad in the, in the grand final winning squad. I record he kicked a really good, really good kick off the first minute in that game. And I recorded that one. He's trying to have a crack at the Seagulls this year, I believe. Yeah, I, I saw. I think I read somewhere he was going off to play Q Cup. I hope he goes all the way. Yeah. He's a little star. He deserves what, everywhere he gets. Yeah. So, of course, making mention of that grand final where Ballina won 30 points to four. So, it'll be interesting to see from Ballina and Kujan or across the Northern Rivers board how many go into that under 23 squad. But anyway, that's next week. We'll focus on this one now. It's 42 points in the old North Coast over the Northern Rivers. 30 metres. So, this will be 30 metres out. Jeez, he's quick to the ball. Williams. That's it. Look, 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 he's, got, he's definitely got a spring in his he's step. He's I'd say he's the quickest on the field. So they're a little nice bit bunched up there. on this play. So this is Lachlan Hullard in the tackle there. Sits there by Joel Antonelli. Defence by Cooper Many. He'd, he'd be playing up in age route, Cooper Many. So look, you see there Joel Antonelli trying to take on the Ulysses Roberts. <laughs> he's done well considering. Right. Second right, half back on sec versus second row. He's a solid second row at two Ulysses. Kick goes up. Oh, and he takes him off the hill. Well, well taken there in defence, but great take there by Thomas Vickery. He's had an impressive game, Thomas Vickery. And they'll get a penalty. penalty. Good one. Yeah, that has, that has been a few standouts for the, uh, the Rivers side. But unfortunately, they have been our class this afternoon. This Bulldog side has gelled. They're playing like a, like a really good football side. Same with the uh, as the Rivers did in the uh, in the Johnsy Cup. Once again, I'd like to thank Andrew Johns and Laurie Daly for uh, bringing their names to this great competitions. So, 12 minutes and change left here in the second half of Laurie Daly Cup action. 42 points to nil. If you just joined us from brunch, or you've been checking out some of the other streams, still plenty of. There's still two games tomorrow in the South Coast, Kev, um, as well. I'll, I'll Oh, yeah, the old South Coast. They, 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 they're pretty well, strong South, down Southern, there Southern as well. Conference. So, as, as we said, that, that's a Cooper Manny. He's a try scoring machine for the Clarence Coast, and he's also added to his country rep tally. And that breaks the duck head now for the Northern Rivers, 42 to 4. Well, that hole just opened right up for him there, and uh, thank God it did, because it's good to see some points on the board for the uh, Northern Rivers side. So, 42 to 4, is it, with a kick to come? Just up the road here from the Laura Clarence Cooper Manny Plaza plies his trade. And you think like being just well they're the, like the most southern team in the NRRL. You think you know maybe some get some graft and be checking him out? Oh, I think definitely. He's um well he, he was in the, have him. He he was in the rep for, team last year. He'd be playing for the Bulldogs if that was the okay, case, so there's probably yeah. a double look because he's an impressive player. So he'd be seven, he'd be seventeen this year. Because he was in the Andrew Johns Cup last year. Ah, uh, Laurie. He was actually yeah. in the Laurie Daly Cup. Was so he really? On oh, my, okay. according to my notes. But oh, in that case, he must have been playing up in Age Group last year. There he goes, all right. Anyway, he Good was second rower. 
he, he was, definitely got bigger in the last 12 months. <laughs> he was, um, <laughs> as the kick goes over, thus making it now 42 to 6. As I mentioned, he was part of that uh, that lower Clarence Magpies squad yeah. that went deep into the finals last year in the under 18s. He was a big part of their team, actually. He was their like, lead, lead, leading, leading forward. And as I mentioned, so he's, he'd be used to a bit of travel because doing it for the the Titans here in the, the competition and lower Clarence, they'd have to play away on average every second weekend up towards the border in Ballina and Byron and whatnot. So must be hard work to all the parents out there. Thank you very much for getting your kids to the grounds. Of course, it is hard yeah, work and, and getting them getting them where they need to go because. Well, when I, I did a bunch of Greater Northern Tigers games last year, Kevin, they, they, that whole inland just ranges like about five hours either end for anywhere between Scone and um, Tamworth. And, oh, yeah. So there's a lot of travel involved for everyone involved. It's nice and dry out here, too. So, mm. so this is John Twali. Can they back up on another try here? So the sun has, has come out. I don't know where that It's come too little too late for the sun, I dare say. <laughs> well, I hope they do score again. So the kick goes up. This will go into the hands of Max Shaw. He, he's had a solid game at fullback. He'll be looking, he'll be looking to game. replicate next week when, when he plays on home turf in Coss Harbour next week. And it's not every day where you, when you're playing rep footy where you get to be playing right on your home turf where you play your bread and butter each weekend, week out. But Max Shaw will be looking for a big performance against the Great Northern Tigers next week. And he's just brought down all week. Oh, that yeah. looked a bit... Yeah, that, yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. not on. That, cool. that was that was uh, James Munro, our skillful winger on the other side. That looked and the number twenty, we, we we never got his name. Yeah, the UFC's <laughs> the UFC's tomorrow. That's <laughs> not something you want to see on the football field. <laughs> yeah. The UFC's tomorrow. Eh? That's, yeah. a, that's a good day to stay out of the pub. <laughs> <laughs> but before, you, if, you, if you do watch that, before the, just remember there's two other games. South, as I mentioned, South Coast. So those games against Monaro and Riverina at Bell Conan and. It's the South Coast Dragons against the Western Rams out in Wollongong. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is the first game. Kicks some things off here between the South Coast Dragons and the Western Rams, and Andrew John's Cup kicks off at 12 p.m. for the Monaro and River oh, wow. So be sure to check out the football on Bar TV Sports across the country, Rugby League, Facebook, and YouTube platforms. I think the Rivers can take something out of this game because they are still defending as best to the best of their ability. So, yeah, Lissy's Roberts takes a hit up. That's 10 metres out from the Northern Rivers line. They'll go out with a bang here. This is going to be now Bro So, Ethan Duncan, he's a try-scoring machine for his club, Sawtell Panthers. I think he scored nine tries from last year. He wants to get something, oh. get something at rep level. Fifth and last. And they won't opt for the kick. He's not going to anyway. Oh, well read. That was Keon roberts Larry in defence. Oh, wow. Will it be worth something? Oh, well, that's well read by the Titans. But he's given away a penalty over here. What's happened here? What? I can't tell you exactly what's happened. Who, who's the Could only be a call for offside. No, I think he's good. I think he's said something he shouldn't have. He stopped something to play here. Or, he's or called, is it for offside? I think he might have called roberts Laurie offside. He did look like he marched well, towards no, he him. He wants to have a chat with this fella. He's having... That's got nothing to do with Robert Slurry. Well, I can't read lips that good, unfortunately, but... Uh, it's, it's, they're, they're, uh, we're, 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 we're having... There wasn't too much in it. Then I've got your 15, following the ball you kicked. I don't think he'll get sent for 10, let's put it that way. Go back to your team. Yeah, yeah I think it's offside. Getting it... Pratt. Just making it on the rest mics there, I think it's going to offside. Just got an earpiece there, Kev. So I think it was for offside. I think, I think that's been. A, I think though that was more to do with the fact that it's not the first time they've been offside. So right. the referees just told him to keep your ten. No shoulder chuck. I'm glad he didn't take it too. Shoulder chuck. Yeah, I think that was an offside. I think it was kind of a bit of both. But I think. Anyways, play on. Oh, that was nicely taken in the tackle there by Zachary Hicks. Georgia. We still we still haven't got that. They ought to go left. Interesting. They'll set up right side there. I think that's Roberts Laurie. Um, they're still going to impress Captain Coach Todd Carney wow. this season. And, oh, that looked a little bit line ball. Referee yeah, doesn't well, mind it. Well Referee doesn't mind that at all. And then to the North, Co North Coast Bulldogs. James Munro. Is that his hat trick? Uh, no, that's... Uh, 
I lost count on who scored who, who, what tries, but the other winger, Jackson O'Connor, scored two. But James Mundo, yeah, he's had a great game. I don't know. That could be his first try of the game. Oh. No, second second there, try. Yeah. But yeah, he's had a dead set blinder, nevertheless. 46 6 now, North Coast Bulldogs over Northern Rivers Titans. Both of the wingers for the Bulldogs have uh, been outstanding. Two tries apiece. A lot of skill. A lot of skill about them. And they're about the centres inside them. Both had solid games. Uh, that always helps. We're not looking like hitting up 50 this, this game, are we? Or what? Well, it's. 46. So that's 40 points differential. Oh, wow. So if you combine the Northern Rivers Titans <laughs> for and against across the two teams last week, it was a, well, if you count the Parramatta of what they scored, it was 112 points to nil. Okay, so they two in the first games. And then so they're, they're, they're not, they're not, they're not uh, odds on favourite to win the comp, we might say. So I wonder what the if this keeps up across the four games next week, what the four and against will be across four games. Well, I'll tell you what it will do. It'll make it very hard for um, anyone from that squad to, to go to England. Well, <laughs> well, let's put it this way, Kev. Let's put it in a bit of a light. Like, if you're a stats man, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna be having a hard time keeping up with stats next week. <laughs> but we, we're looking forward to bringing all four games to you next week as the kick goes over Logan Jones. What a yeah. great kick by Logan Jones. Take it, bear. 48 to 6 now, Northern Rivers, sorry, North Coast over the Northern Rivers. So the Clarence, Clarence River Derby is going to be split between the North and South sides this match day on the Andrew Johns and Laurie Daly Cup. Trust you're enjoying the coverage wherever you may be watching. Let us know where you're watching from. Yeah, we always love to hear your feedback. We're probably a bit rusty. This is our first game of the season, me and Dwayne, but we, uh, we improved every game last Let's year, I thought. <laughs> All I can say is just keep it constructive. That's right. Yeah. But the, the, this game's just winding down there. You can tell the the Bulldogs are just going through the motions. That's good. And there's a penalty given. So this right. is so 50 points can certainly beckon now for the for the North Coast. Penalty given for tripping over as he was getting up to play the ball. So they get oh interesting they're going to go for the run. Mm. That is interesting. Oh, oh wow. nicely. For me, you wouldn't think at a score of 48-6 that you think that the Northern Rivers Titans with their defence. For me, like Liam well, Robinson, he's been the best defender on the ground. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think the only reason that we didn't, pure entertainment he didn't, value. He didn't go down down a tram line is I think he's actually <laughs> off at the moment. Yeah, he's out on there. So he can take the seatbelt off. <laughs> Hopefully, he hasn't got a cracked sternum. Yeah, well, I mean. It, look, Looked a little bit of ginger after he done his second one. I thought he might have dislocated a shoulder, but anyways, hopefully he's all right for next week. Oh, wow. Well. Nice tackle. That had to be a penalty. Yeah, well, Unfortunately, didn't like yeah, it. Robert Slurry, just a bit careless. He knows it. He knows it. Yeah, you know, he apologised straight I mean, away. I think he knows that he's... Yeah, harsh. It, actually, it looked a lot worse than it was. Kind of like when Marty Lang used to get tackled with, with, with his hairstyle. Oh, those were the days, Kevin. Those were the days. Ivan Madden. Ivan Madden, nice so run up there from the dummy half there, Iron Madden. Oh, Iron Maiden, did you say? Iron Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes in. <laughs> uh, I was listening to a bit of Iron Maiden on the way down there, Kim. So it was a surprise. So this is Ethan Duncan plays it down off field. Uh, they are, they're going to they're going to score here. He wants another try. Yeah. I know the second round one's one, I reckon. This is Duncan now from dummy half. Gets it off to the hands of Sam Burns. Uh, they want to finish off strong and take it in the next week. Uh, Cut out pass. Oh, wow. He'll have the corner all to himself. And that is now a hat trick for James Munro from Cos Harbour. Yeah, he deserves it. He's had an absolute blinder. And, and there's that, the 50. And now, they, now the North Coast Bulldogs can raid their butt up for their half century. 52 to 6. Wow. He's going to try the hat trick to the winner, number five, James Munro. He's had a great game. Munro, that was the fella before when I was given Lachlan West a bit of a rap. I actually looked at the wrong name. It was it was Munro. No relation to Mike Munro, the uh, former host of uh, This Is Your Life. <laughs> yeah. Well, the way these kids are playing, they might be featuring on the show with um, with these impressive game because I mean, you'd think, no doubt, you know, you have the, the Titans scouts and the, the Bulldog scouts. A lot of these kids are going to be beckoning for 
Intrust Super Cup on both the New South Wales and Queensland side and NRL. There was a there was a player there for Parramatta like last um, I forget his name, but he, he played for Par for Parramatta last week and he, he already got a start for New South Wales. I'm Peter Sterling. Oh, no. It wasn't Peter Sterling, he certainly wasn't Peter Sterling. Uh, uh, yeah, I forget okay. his name, but he he, uh, he was featured for the New South Wales under 16s and played in the opener in State of Origin last year at Suncorp. Oh, fair thing. Yeah. Oh, happy days. So Logan Jones will take the kick right on the halfway line, 30 metres out. Not long to go now. He got the last kick from that exact same spot. And so I think he could be a big chance here. <laughs> Logan look, Jones. At the, look at the Bulldogs. They're already in position. They, they want another try. They want 60. They want to, they want to, they want to dart back down south. And the kick is... It's going to... Oh, no, I think the, the yeah. breeze just literally just picked up and just held it up and just dropped it short. 52 points to six, the Bulldogs over the Titans. Yeah, no, I think they just want to get back home, back home down to the south side of Grafton and you and me will be heading back on the north side, back to the Byron and Tweed respectively. Yeah, the, uh, the rain put off the road work, so it should be a bit quicker than... I saw a few bit, a little bit of road roads on the way down, but... Anyway, so it'll be short. So I was going to say we're we're in Lismore, 45 minutes from where where I am, and, but we're doing four games. You reckon that this will be the task, or this will be the task for the driver two games? I might just I might just get a bus there. <laughs> right, we'll see what this. Is. And this should be the last play of the game. And I think they'll just pick it up and get on their way. No, they, they still want Thomas. They're still, still going. Wants to play. And he just gives a cheeky little push there. That's all she wrote here in Grafton. They'll they'll shake hands and then we'll move on to next week. What a performance by the North Coast Bulldogs here. Very clinical. And what a performance by the Northern Rivers Titans in the, the game preceding this one. Both teams beat it getting into the 50-point region. Kev, what a day in Grafton. Oh, two, two absolute blowouts. Absolute blowouts. But what a, Wait, both, both got one each at least. But what a show that we could put on, on the north coast between to see the football between the Tweed Coast, sorry, up at the Tweed Coast, up to the border, as far south as down the Group Three in the Port Macquarie Taro region. There is going to be some some names that you're going to see in the NRL in the next year or well, next year or two or three, well, and certainly so. in the near future. And you're seeing it all on Bar TV. Your thoughts on the today's today's action? Well, you know, I, I very rarely give uh, men of the match to a winger, but Munro. Got to give it to James Munro. He, had a, he was killing it on both sides. And also, I think the uh, front rower, Brock Parker, deserves a rap. And, you know, if, when you win 52 points to six, everyone in your team plays good. Condolences to the uh, Northern Rivers, but be, we'll see you next week. Exactly. Well, when we do that full game, um, Bill, next week at Elismore. But for me, I've said it throughout the call, but Liam Robertson, oh, mate, he, he'll be wearing a, he should be wearing a Gold Coast Titans jersey in a couple of years. He'll be, for me, like bang, bang, bang. He, he was like, he was, it was a six, he was like a six the shooter off the, off that first play for me. I just hope he's all right for next week. Like, cause he seriously put his body on the line there. Oh, he wouldn't have been injured. He was just that was yeah, just his time we, to well, go on the sideline. And if you're watching, if you're a football fan, you want to see more of that. Uh, but yeah, so final thoughts go to you, Kev. Yeah, well, uh, well done to uh, to the Rivers in. Uh, Andrew Johns, and well done to the the Bulldogs in in the in the Laurie Daly Cup. You both got campaigns on your hands. You might win the comp. And how good's your season over? I'm back in the box with you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll see you again next week, mate. Thank you for a lovely afternoon. <laughs> Always a pleasure. And and that's all she wrote here in Grafton. So mixed results here on either side of the Clarence River. And it was the Northern Rivers Titans winning 50 points to nil in the opening game, and then as you saw there, it was 52 points to six for the North Coast Bulldogs. Don't forget there's two other games being featured tomorrow in the South and Southern Conference. But for me, Dwayne Neville and the team at CRL and Bar TV, it's been a pleasure as always bringing it back to you. And we'll see you next week and Liz Moore. Have a good, good afternoon.